beautiful vaporization! I am fucking Sonic. And I'm fucking fast and shit. I run the speed of sound. Now leave me the fuck alone. I am fucking Sonic. I just finished for 20 blazing it. That's why my eyes are all bloodshot. Do you have a bag of funions? Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Did you see my new movie poster? My body is oddly muscled and rippled. It's creepy. All right, we got Sonic. We got him. Nice. Sounds a bit familiar. A powerful orphan. A soldier of fortune. Running from the law and an assortment of horsemen. Out on an adventure. Whistling birds with a feather. Two friend DeLoreans. We're in this together. I'm just doing a job. Well, I'm a screw in the knobs. Connected by fate and tracked by dozens of fobs. We'll keep riding and hiding till the end of our story. And we were destined to be the very best of friend DeLoreans.
I travel through the mountains, walking through this wasteland, my eyes are fixed on the horizon, holding on to what I am, all alone out in this world, through the darkness I descend, my eyes are fixed on the horizon, pushing onwards to the end.
Ugh, I wanna watch some faggot and insult some homo. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that. Ugh, I want to watch some faggot and insult some homo. Hound's wall. I need those, that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills.
been pretty slow, not gonna lie. Never stop the way. Yeah. You wanna play the fucking game? Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a stand. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. You know, I'm, I'm not... Let me put it this way. If I absolutely detested this game, I would not be playing it. Let's put it that way, okay? I certainly don't like it. 
I feel that the game is definitely uninspired. The only interesting thing about the game is the world, and they didn't create the world. The world was already existing from other lore. You know, Cyberpunk... The See, Ziggy Project Piggy's back! ...invent Cyberpunk. This was a, a actual lore and plotline that existed somewhere else, and they're just making a video game about it. So, and that's the one thing that's interesting. Everything else in the game is very blasé, very taken from other places. The game doesn't feel unique pretty much in any way, shape, or form. Um... And most of the things that the game promised, they don't live up to. The promises are not, you know, they, they over-promised and under-delivered in a very, very large way. Even ignoring the game bugs. Okay? So, I'm going to keep playing it. Um, today, it's a major stream. We'll see what happens today. I don't know what's going to happen today. Uh, we'll find out as we play more. Okay? Um, later tonight, Black Ops Cold War continues although it is still the free open weekend where everyone and their mother can play for free which probably means all the servers are going Ugh. to be terrible like they were a couple nights ago when i played was it friday night no th thursday night yeah the servers were really bad and i get the feeling they're going to be just as slammed tonight which is unfortunate but it is what it is okay it'll get back to being normal probably after christmas so um that should be fun if not rage inducing Tomorrow, major stream of Yakuza 7 again, where I plan to finish up the current investment segment that I'm doing, the minigame, try to make some money, and then we're probably going to continue on with the plot. Finally, after several streams of just side content, the plot will probably continue. So I hope you'll be here tomorrow for that. And then tomorrow night, likely a shorter cyberpunk stream, like a, maybe a two-hour late-night cyberpunk stream, okay? Tuesday is my day off from streaming. When I return on Wednesday, my holiday festivities begin. Because Wednesday is going to be my Christmas marathon. Okay? So during the Christmas marathon, many things will happen. I'll be playing a variety of games. Some of which will be multiplayer games such as Fall Guys and uh, Black Ops Cold War. But I'll also be playing games that you guys are nominating. And it's actually tonight. I'm going to finally take the time to sit down, look at your nominations, sort them out. And figure out what other games will be played during this event. Hopefully you guys have nominated some great stuff. If you have not nominated a game yet, it's your absolute last chance to do so. Because tonight is the night. The time is right for me to pick the games that you will see with your site. That was really bad. But yeah. Uh, so it should be fun. And I'm going to see what the nominations are. Pick the best ones. And I will let you guys know, hopefully later tonight... What games will be played during the Christmas event? I'll also be dressed up in holiday attire over the course of the day. I'll also be drinking... Excuse me. Various holiday ales, some eggnog, among some other things, as you will see. There will also be a live DSP Tries It that will be holiday-themed. I don't know if I've ever done a holiday-themed DSP Tries It like this before, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So that'll be fun. I hope you'll join me for that. Um, should be a good time. I'll be doing it all day. I'll start in the usual stream time, 10, 15 in the morning, running all the way through like 7, 8 at night. So I hope you'll join me for that. It should be a fun, festive time for all in attendance. All right. Then on Thursday, I'm not doing a standard streaming day. I'm doing a special holiday edition of Ask the King, my Q&A show, where I answer your questions. Okay? The more questions I get, the better the show is. Um... And by the way, this stream will be starting a little later than usual because I sit down to review the questions and pick the best ones and get answers in my head and everything for them. So uh, that's Thursday, main stream. There will be no night stream on Thursday because that is Christmas Eve. And I'll be celebrating on Christmas Eve and also on Christmas Day with my family. No streaming on Christmas Day. I know many of you will be very upset about that, that you can't be with me at Christmas. I'm sorry, but I have to spend it with my family. It's more important to me to, uh, to take a day away and have personal time. Uh, I figure Christmas would be the day to do that. But I'll be back on Saturday with the continuation of Yakuza 7 and the Street Fighter throwback stream for the week. Normally it would have been on a Friday because Friday's Christmas. It's going to be Saturday night. All right. Then on uh, Sunday, it'll be more Cyberpunk and it will be uh, Assassin's Creed on Sunday night. And then on Monday, Pardon it'll be more Yakuza me. and likely Black Ops Cold War because at that point I wouldn't have played it all week. And I'll probably be craving some of it, okay? And then that's it. That's the, that's the end of that week. And then when we come back, which is going to be basically the end of December, first week of January, yes, I will still be continuing with Yakuza and Cyberpunk, but I'm going to begin to 
figure out how I'm going to do my year-end awards, all right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, I'm going to figure out how to do my year-end awards this year. It's actually a little tricky because I'm in the middle of so many games. I'm in the middle of Cyberpunk. I'm in the middle of Yakuza. I'm in the middle of Assassin's Creed. With me in the middle of three major games, it's kind of hard for me to do the year-end awards when I don't <clears> even know... <throat> how these games will weigh into my countdowns. I haven't beaten them yet. You know what I mean? It's actually quite challenging for you to figure this out. So I'm going to start work on them. I don't know if I'm going to 100% do them that first week of January because of that. But we shall see. Okay? Now, once I start to get near the end or finish up with some of the current games that I'm playing, the next game I'm playing on the docket is Immortals Phoenix Rising. All right? I wanted to play this game all month. I'm so busy with the current games I'm playing, I haven't had a chance. But that will be the next playthrough that I do. I'm also very strongly considering this game Hades, which many people have said is game of the year. I don't care. And I didn't play it at all. So I may look into that. I'm not not uh, promising that, by the way. But I'm saying I may do it, okay? Um, I want to play the Sackboy platformer on PS5, but I'm not paying 60 bucks for it. If the price dips after Christmas, which likely it will, because I can't imagine many people after Christmas paying $60 for that shit. <laughs> Just being honest. I need those, the that price money. I really do. Christmas, I need that money. Or early January. January. I'll be getting Sackboy, and I'll be playing that one. Um, also, there is Age of Calamity, and apparently, from what I understand, it's already going on sale. I guess it's already $50 somewhere, and I guess other places are probably going to price match it. So likely, if I just wait until, like, January, Age of Calamity may be heavily discounted. Um, we'll have to see. But... These are games basically hint, I'm hint, considering. Hint. All right, so Immortals: Phoenix Rising, Hades, the Sackboy. So you're going to be an asshole. You're going to be treated like an asshole. And you're and you're going to be Lamb shown the door. Kind of the games that I'm considering for for you know the next major playthroughs. Not promising those. I know in January uh, we've got Hitman Three. That one I'm definitely playing. I believe there's also the Medium. Now I wanted to play it, but. There's still no fucking clarity on this game being an Xbox Series S X exclusive, or it's also on Xbox One. I've seen a million conflicting things. At one point, it was listed for Xbox One, then it was delisted for Xbox One. I don't know what the fuck's going on. If it's obviously a Series X exclusive, then I can't play it. I don't have an Xbox Series X, and they're not readily available anywhere uh, who knows how long, right? So I guess we'll see. I want to play Medium, but I don't know if it's going to be readily available. I believe there's something else, too. Someone just said Prince of Persia. Is that is the Prince of Persia remake coming out in January? Ah! Obviously, that would be what I would be considering playing too. So, so anyway, guys, that's a rough idea, rough idea of what I'm thinking of for the rest of this month, and then next month. Okay. Of course, as I said, there will be uh, the year-end countdowns when I get to them, and I don't know. I might want to wait and to do those until I get further into the games I'm currently playing, so I know how to factor them in better or weigh them in better, rank them better. Um, and I have gotten requests to do a end of the generation event where I basically say, what were the best and worst games of the last console generation? I would consider doing that in January as well. If you guys would like to see it, uh, it could take me some time to do that, but I would consider it. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Um, please, as I've already mentioned, Nominate games for the Christmas Marathon by typing exclamation point Christmas into the stream chat. I will remove that command overnight because I'm going to keep the games hopefully later tonight. All right, so now is your last chance to do so. Also, please post up your questions for Ask the King on Thursday, Christmas Eve. Um, though that, that ability will be up all week long until Christmas Eve, and then I'll shut that off. All right? You can type exclamation point Ask the King. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Type exclamation point Ask the King into the stream chat in order to post up your questions for Ask the King on Thursday. Okay. Thank you in advance for all that participation. Now, before we get on to the rest of the pre-stream, I would like to remind everyone that I have been doing this for a living for 10 years now. I've been making content on the internet for over 12 years. I am a true independent content creator. What that means is that I don't have <laughs> oh my any God, sponsorships at all, and therefore I don't <laughs> shill for anybody. I seriously, I am not exclusively <laughs> partnered with any website oh to stream and get paid to do <laughs> so. <laughs> I what the f basically <laughs> pride myself on the <laughs> fact that I can <laughs> come to you every single day and be honest with you. 
It's gonna clear everything up, that you hear and see on my stream is honest. <clears throat> Right, uh, nothing that's spun for a certain, you know, a certain purpose or uh, to benefit me. Uh, All right, uh, okay. my honest opinions on games now. when I uh, play them, uh, and I give you a hundred percent transparency and everything uh, that I say and do with games on my stream. All right, and people like that. That's why I'm still here after twelve years. A lot different from the content creators who they make a living basically pushing paid products down your throats, doing paid advertisement streams, care. and the like. All right, that's why I'll also never be a golden boy streamer. You'll never see me in favor with these game studios because that's not what they're looking for. Okay, they're looking for the shill. Um, that being said, being an independent ain't easy. I rely on your crowdfunding to keep afloat. What you support me with on the streams is exactly what I make uh, on a daily basis for income. All right, so please consider contributing to the streams if you like the content, if you like the fact I'm that I'm truly independent, if you like me as a person as well as the stuff that i put out on a daily basis please consider contributing there are many ways you can contribute the primary ways that people contribute because they can get something for it live on the stream is either cheering with bits uh sub subscribing to the channel or tipping me if you do any of those three things i'll do my best to give you a live shout out on the stream of course if someone says i'm really consulting i my depression if i want to say anything about it i don't have to but i appreciate it all contributions on my streams. Contributions are not mandatory, nor are they expected on the stream. My streams are 100% free and always will be. But if you like the content and you want to continue, and you want to do the extra money, absolutely 100%. Please continue to take it. Alright? Next. The third method of contribution is tipping. When you tip me, those are funds I get immediately. I can put them towards the cost of games. I can put them towards shopping this coming Tuesday. Uh, I can put it towards a million different things, bills, you know. And I appreciate anyone. If who I could does get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still term. be on camera, although the other I things, would do it. cheering, subbing, etc., also help a lot. Uh, tipping is is you know, I my need those, that money. I really do. I need that money to choose my bills. Contribute. Please tip me. Now I'll say a few things up front about this. Number one, sadly, we have had someone or p some people. It's hard to tell who have been doing completely illegal tipping. Stealing credit card numbers off the internet and then using those to tip me and then basically miserable. charge back later. Okay, this is it's miserable. completely illegal. It's a felony every time the person does it. The person has does it hundreds of times. They continue to do it on a daily basis. Because of this, I have to screen tips that come in to make sure that these are legit tips and not someone using a stolen credit card and then charging it back later. Because sadly, not only does that mean I would lose the money, sometimes there's other things involved that could hurt my PayPal account, that could you know hurt a lot of things. <clears throat> so I have to basically try to avoid these as much as possible. By screening tips, it allows me to see if one comes in that's phony, and I can refund it immediately, and that cuts off any risk, okay? However, however, <laughs> this could be derailing to the stream. So people have said, wow, it's kind of derailing when you have to do that. I know, and I apologize. I don't like having to do it. I'm trying to steam streamline it as much as I possibly can so that you don't have to know about it, all right? So... You know, please, if you could, contribute. But if you're going to, I strongly recommend, <clears throat> if you are a speaker stream viewer, if you're someone who likes the content and is going to be tipping, please create a registered PayPal account. All right? If you create a registered PayPal account, that gives me protections and lets me know that your tip is real versus someone impersonating you or someone doing an anonymous credit card checkout that can easily be charged back later. Um... It, by the way, it's safer for you as well, all right? How do you make a registered PayPal account? Well, you just go to PayPal and basically you give them all your information, your real information, your name, your address, uh, your bank account information, etc. And don't worry, that information is private. That information is not given to me when you tip me. That's bullshit that stupid-ass haters say on the internet to try to make people not tip because they get afraid that they're going to get doxxed or something. That's not the case. In fact, the only information I ever see is either the name that you've created for that account on PayPal whatever it may be, or the email address associated with that account, or both. It depends on, on how you set up your account, what I can actually see. Uh, I can't see anything else. So FYI, um, don't believe the bullshit, okay? So, yes, I strongly recommend, if you are a frequent viewer, supporter of the stream, you want to help me out with tips, please make a registered PayPal account. That makes me feel safe. That basically gets rid of any kind of a fraud situation. And uh, it also helps with the streams because I don't have to sit here micromanaging every single tip. See what I'm saying? All right. Thank you in advance, everyone. I appreciate that. Ah. 
Okay. Let's move on. Um, oh, well, I, I should mention, you know, we do have rewards goals. If I raise $50 in tips today, I'll put on my gunner glasses. If we raise $100 in tips today, I'll put on a vest. Last night, it was... Which vest did, we, did I wear last night? Ugh, I want to watch the red vest. faggot. In yes, so, it was the red Homa. vest last night. And the vest before that was... Was... What was the vest before that? <laughs> what did I wear during uh during Yakuza? Anyone remember? Was it the platinum you vest? You want to play the fucking game? I think it was the platinum vest. Yeah, I think I it was the platinum during the day and the red one at night. My so that means today like, ack, ack, it would be the so beige, the blue, <laughs> or the camo, or the gray vest would Does be eligible like, to be ack, worn ack, today. Ack, ack, ack. Okay. No. So Sounds please consider like contributing, all. and thank you if you do in advance. Hopefully we'll have some silly and fun shenanigans going on on the stream as rewards. All right. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, let's move on. Gaming news. All right. There's really not much to talk about. As expected, end of the year, everything slows down, and everyone's just anticipating Christmas this week. Of course, the only thing that's still going on is the cyberpunk controversy. I really haven't heard anything in the realm of anything new. It just seems like the same things. You know, they keep patching this game, pretending like it's fixing stuff, and people keep saying it's not. I guess this latest patch that came out, I think it was yesterday, has fixed a lot of the early game issues that were <clears> present <throat> in the game. Although it's it's hilarious if you read the list of the patch notes. It's like you're reading the patch notes and you're like, did this like did anyone actually test the game at all? Because when you read the glitches that were taking place in the early game, you know, the first ten hours of the game. The introductory missions. You're reading these and you're like, what? You know, like, fix the glitch where your your your, the, your teammate would completely disappear from the game. <laughs> what? Why would that happen? Fix the glitch where a critical phone call to advance the story never happens and you're just stuck. You can never advance. What? <laughs> really? Like, no one tested this. No one knew this was present when they released this game. I mean, come on now. It's just it's the stupidest shit. Some of the, some of the bugs I did have. I was reading it, and it was like, yeah, you know, bugs with uh, dialogue disappearing. Right? And that happened to me. I would get a phone call from an NPC, and the NPC would just be completely silent. And then next thing you know, you would respond as if they had said something, and then it says, oh, you got a new mission. Like, what? There was no dialogue to explain the mission. It didn't play. So apparently the, the patch is trying to fix a lot of those things. Um, but what's funny is it still hasn't fixed the crashing. Like, everyone is still complaining the game constantly fucking crashes on console. And they just still haven't fixed that issue. That's the primary issue everyone's complaining is that when they play it crashes at least a couple times. And it's still not be not better. It's still crashing. Um, <laughs> pretty stupid. Um... You know, I said this a few days ago, and a lot of people laughed at me, but now there's a serious discussion about a class action lawsuit against uh, CD Projekt Red, and there's two groups who could file such a lawsuit. The investors of the company, who those are the people who invest their money into CD Projekt Red stock, and they expect that that money is going to be used wisely for smart business decisions so that the company can make a profit and then pay them dividends. That's why you would own stock, okay? Or, could also be... The consumers who try to sue CD Projekt Red for, I would presume, false false representation of the game and possibly, you know, charging them for a game that's that's not complete. It's basically a vi violation of contract or whatever. Here, From my perspective, here's the two things that could happen, okay? In regards to the shareholders, all right, the shareholders have the power to actually shift around the management and change the structure of the company. They have power to do that. Um, they don't necessarily control the day-to-day -day decisions of the company, but they have the power to choose the leaders. Much like in the United States of America, we have a democratic process where we vote on our leaders and our leaders make the laws and things like that. We don't directly make the laws, the people who we vote in do. Well, the shareholders have the ability to say, I have uh, no confidence in the leadership of CD Projekt Red, and they could actually cut out people from leadership positions. Now, to what exact extent, I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> I get the feeling that with different companies, it's different. <clears throat> but they do have that ability. 
So if they wanted to say, you know, we feel that the management completely botched this, it's now cost us $6.6 .6 billion in counting because every day the stock is still dropping. Um, you know, we have no confidence in this leadership. We want them out. Well, they would have the ability to do that. They would have the ability to kick out uh, certain leadership. Okay? There you go. Um, so, so, what the hell are you talking about? Don't even put that in the stream chat. <laughs> what the hell is that? Anyway, um, a class action lawsuit, that's an interesting premise. What that would mean is that all of the shareholders of the company, anyone who owns stock, feels that the management of the company botched things so badly, right, that it cost them, you know, market share. And, I mean, let's be honest here. That's exactly what happened, right? Um, that's exactly what happened here. The management of the company was so bad, they completely mismanaged the project, they overpromised massively, and then underdelivered on that promise. Even with the multiple delays, they couldn't put out a working product. Um, and I can understand that, but what are they exactly are they expecting to get is my question. Because the shareholders are the people who put the value into the company. It's their money, their investment, right? <clears throat> that funded the company to make it, allowed it to make this game. When you're, su who are they suing? Are they going to have a personal lawsuit against each manager of CD Projekt Red? Like, for their own personal assets or some shit? Like, usually when you have a class action lawsuit, you sue a company, okay? You're suing a company and saying, we feel that this company cheated us or broke the law, and we want restitution. So, any financial settlement that would come out of a class action lawsuit would come out of the value of a company. The company would pay a settlement fee, <clears throat> and then that would go out to the people involved in the class action lawsuit. How could you... How could you sue your company that you are a shareholder of? You're essentially suing yourself. So how could that... I'm lost. How could that even make any sense? Maybe, again, I'm not a legal expert, but I'm just saying from a logical standpoint, that doesn't seem to make much sense. <clears throat> you know? That is correct. You're not an operator of the company, but you own the company. So if you sue the company, you're paying yourself money from the company that you own. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, what I can see is if you if you feel that there was criminal action by the managers of the company, they actually somehow broke the law, you could sue them in a criminal lawsuit, but what are you exactly trying to get out of a class action lawsuit of a company that's already tanking and you own the stock? I don't, like, I'm, that confuses the shit out of me. Maybe we can get a legal expert to talk about this, but this does not seem to make any logical sense at all. Okay. Um, I'm, lo I'm at a loss here, you know? <laughs> now, if you're talking class action lawsuit from the consumers, the gamers themselves who bought the game, I don't think that that lawsuit would ever have any merit, and here's why. All right? When you buy a game, you are entering into a licensing agreement. And that licensing agreement essentially says you're getting this software as is, and you're accepting it as is, and you have a right to play this game because you paid this fee. That's it. It doesn't say anything. You're, you're not, it doesn't even say you're entitled to a functional game. There's nothing in that. It just says you have a right to use this software. You've purchased a license to play the You could pay $60, and the game boots up, and it's a picture of a chocolate bar. And there's a guy dancing around saying, Neener, 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 I took your money. And legally, you would actually have no right to sue. Because you... <laughs> all you did is you bought a license to boot up that game to see the guy dance around in front of a chocolate bar. Like, you know what I mean? There's... What are you suing for? You could say, oh, well, they overpromised and underdelivered. That's true. But they never made a legal contract. They never had a legal contract saying, we promise you this many hours of bug-free gameplay sign on the line. That never happened. Okay? Um, that never happened at all. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what consumers would be suing for, especially because, you know, 
CD Projekt Red, I, I feel, to avoid that kind of lawsuit, that's the reason why they came out and said, we're doing everything we humanly can to get you refunds if you want them. Because I think they were actually deathly afraid of a class action lawsuit that would decimate the company. And that's why they started offering these refunds, which is unprecedented, right? I mean, unprecedented that you would ever get a digital refund on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live for this kind of stuff. You'd always get denied. In this game, you're actually getting it, okay? So... There's really no leg to stand on there as a consumer. I'm sorry, there just isn't. When you're buying a game like that, you're taking a risk. Now, some someone just said, I think it was Theoda Streams just said in the stream chat, well, then what about that class action lawsuit against Nintendo for the Joy-Con drift issue? Because, you know, was there a, a contract that you signed when you bought the Joy-Con that said, you know, that it's going to work? No. That's different, though. When you're buying a controller... Okay, essentially you're buying a piece, a physical piece of hardware, and that physical piece of hardware is expected to perform to a certain capacity. Okay, um, you know, you Nintendo cannot make ma mass manufacture a controller that just doesn't work. It, it's illegal. You can't do that. You, if you're selling a controller for for a certain price point or whatever. The moment that you enter into retail transaction for that controller, there's an expectation that that device is going to work. That's why there's warranties that are, that are offered when you buy it, et cetera, et cetera, okay? It's different than a, a digital agreement for a licensing to use a piece of software. It is. It's different. Um, the laws are different when it comes from physical to a actual purchase of a licensing agreement for something digital. So I, I really don't feel that a class action lawsuit by consumers would work. I feel that, especially because CD Projekt Red has co come forward and said we're offering refunds, I feel that a judge would say that that sounds like a frivolous lawsuit and he would throw it out. Um, but as for a class action lawsuit from the shareholders, I'd be interested to see how that would go because I don't know what exactly would come of it. I really don't. I don't. I don't know what would come of it. Unless they're trying to liquidate their own company. It's the only thing I can think of. Maybe the shareholders are like, fuck it, we're going to cut and run. So we're going to sue the company, cut it up, you know, take all the assets, cut them amongst ourselves, and then get take as much as we can from the company and leave it, and it goes out of business. Maybe that would be the purpose. I don't know. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. These, these people are very ta talented game developers, and I feel we all know that it was not their fault that the game has came out this way. It's the management's fault. So, obviously, we wouldn't want the studio to close, but I don't know what else would come of that kind of a lawsuit, you know? Okay, all right, let's go ahead and let's just get to shout-outs, shall we? Okay. All right, we start out with Golden Colts, who did a 50-bit cheer overnight, and he says, Phil, are you going to try a Mr. Beast burger? He's a YouTuber who's popular with the Zoomers. He has opened 300 locations across the continental United States. Will I be trying the Mr. Beast Burger? No. I have no interest in eating YouTuber burgers. It's fucking stupid. Um, Golden Colts cheered again. He says, I'm going to Jimmy John's before the stream starts. I'm going to get a Turkey Tom and a Pepe. What sandwich do you get at, at, at uh, Jimmy John's? Um, I've only been to Jimmy John's like twice. And if I remember correctly, the first time I went there, I got, like, the sandwich that was, like, the giant meat sandwich. I don't know what they call it, but they, they literally, like, cram in every fucking possible piece of meat that you can get. Like, it's turkey and ham and fucking pepperoni and, like, everything in one. And all I remember is, like, it was so much meat that it didn't really have a distinct flavor to it. Because it was just every meat together. You know what I mean? Um... So I thought it was okay, it was it was unique, but it wasn't necessarily good. And if I remember correctly, the next time I went there, I got just like the Italian sandwich. And that's just a combination of like Italian meats. And I don't think that tasted any better than anything else. Like the same as Subway, you know what I mean? It's the same as anything I can make at home. I don't really necessarily think that Jimmy John's is anything special. The two times I ate there, I was like, meh. Uh, I think that other places are much better. Jersey Mike's, much better. Um... What's the other one? Uh, Potbelly? Much better. I think that Jimmy John's is just kind of meh. 
So, Golden Cold Shooter Games said there's a stream chatter who always says romance cat repeatedly with no other context. What do you make of this? Will his reign of madness be allowed to continue forever? Uh, I don't know what the hell he means. It's weird. You're right. He just says this over and over, and everyone's like, huh? And I guess it's his running meme or whatever. I don't necessarily know if, if, if he's saying anything malicious or not. I don't think anyone knows what the fuck he means. So, oh well. Who cares? Okay. Timbo Slice cheered, and he says, Looks like investors of the company might be doing a class action lawsuit. I, I just, I actually just, wow. Well, my, through my psychic abilities, I predicted what you guys were going to want to talk about, and I already talked about it. So, Timbo, thank you for the first cheer of the day. This one actually happened during the stream running. So thank you for that, Timbo. Uh, Nugget Huggers. Resubscribe. <laughs> Nugget Hug. Nugget Huggers. Resubscribe for three months. Well, I don't know who's hugging your nuggets. Hopefully, they're not hugging them too tightly. Because that could be a precarious position. All right? But wh whatever's hugging your nuggets, I hope that you're having a good day. And thank you for three months of support. <laughs> well, you guys really pick some interesting names here on Twitch, let me tell you. Speaking of interesting names, what the frick? So I did, I already looked into this and I confirmed it's real. I received a $50 tip this morning from none other than Taylor Swift 1989 Deluxe. What is happening? Nugget Huggers, and now this. And now I have to type this out. <laughs> Now I have to type this out on the stream. Oh my god. Well, thank you for the very generous tip. Uh I don't even I don't even get the reference. 1989 Deluxe. I have no idea what that means. But thank you very much for the very generous tip getting us halfway to our tips goal uh before we even started. So thank you very much to whoever that that actually was. I appreciate that. Cuz I'm pretty sure that's not your real name. Um <clears throat> Ultima Cloud 7 did a hundred bit cheer? <laughs> PayPal is a network oh, uh, of uh, interconnected banking oh institutions my God, that use that was uh, a magnetic stripe receptacle. I'm so sorry, uh, digitally online to transfer this this is what uh, funds Absolutely from one gross. entity sorry, to guys. another right. in a legal <laughs> and <a> monitored <laughs> capacity. Oh, man, uh, it is so reported anyway, uh, to the Cloud IRS. Seven. Uh, <laughs> Ultima Cloud Seven did a hundred bit cheer. That's now the biggest cheer of the day. Okay, yikes! That was nasty. <laughs> All right. Old McCloud 7 Chief says, Why are you trying to get a refund when you plan on coming back to the game when the PS5 version comes out? If you get the refund while everyone who held out is getting a free upgrade, you have to rebuy the game for most likely $70 instead of $60. Well, first of all, if I did get a refund, all right, this would give me options. First of all, I would immediately reroute that money into Immortals Phoenix Rising rather than having to pay for a, you know, a game. I would just reroute the money. So it would benefit me, obviously. Um, the other option is I would decide whether or not I want to continue the playthrough or not. You know, when I reach a point in the playthrough where I just like, fuck this game. I don't want to play it anymore. I haven't reached that point yet, which is a good thing, I guess. But, you know, that might happen. Or it might be that these guys never actually put out a good version of the game. That they tried their hardest in the next two, three months, and they just never get it done. Because they just can't do it. The management isn't good enough, and that they've, they've squandered everything, and they just can't get it done. Or the PS5 version comes out and it's just as buggy as the PS4 version, right? So if that's the case, obviously I don't want to rebuy the game. So by getting the refund, that would give me that option to say it later down the road, two, three months from now, if they actually fix it, great, I'll rebuy it. If not, I, I got my money back, right? But, I mean, it doesn't seem to matter anyway. You want to play Because it seems game? like Sony says, screw you, Phil. Who are you? We ignore you. We're not going to give you a refund. You don't deserve it. You're, you are a, a pissant. We piss on you. We, we take our Sony juices and we unleash them on you. Take that. And there's nothing I can do about it besides open an umbrella, I guess. I don't know. I guess they don't like me. You know, probably what, being what do I do? talking honestly about these companies year after year. You know, they probably don't look at me in a very, a very, uh, a very positive light. Let's put it that way. Okay. Lies for Soul did 100 bit cheers. Did you see on Twitter? Oh, I'm not reading that. I'm definitely not reading that. Lies for Soul, thank you for the 100 bit cheer. I'm not reading that. Um, Lies for Soul also did 145 bit cheer and he said he's spoiling the game. Thanks, Derek. Dude, what are you doing? I appreciate that. <laughs> Lies for Soul, all right. 
hold on a second here. Lies for Saul. All right. I appreciate your support. I do. I appreciate your support a lot. I th thank you for your support. You have to calm the fuck down. You're saying things that have nothing to do with the stream. Things that obviously I'm not going to talk about on the stream. And now you're spoiling the fucking game that I'm playing. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? He literally just spoiled the plot part of the game. Why did you do that with a cheer? Stop this! You understand it's against the rules. You understand that I have to, I have to permanently ban you from the stream and you can never come back now. You understand that, right? I have to do that right now. Why did you do this? So if you're going to be an asshole, you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. You've twisted, you've turned, you've, you've forced my hand. What else am I going to do? You're not welcome on my streams, period. Actually, I'm not going to ban him at all. I'm just, I'm giving him a hard time because I want him to understand that he shouldn't be fucking doing that. That was really stupid. Why did, why would you do that? <laughs> no spoilers, dude. What the hell is your problem? You know, there's people still playing the game, and they don't know anything about the missions in the game. I don't even know about this mission in the game. Why are you spoiling? Special delivery. By the way, he hasn't responded at all. <laughs> so, all I'm going to say is life for soul. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. Stop it with the nonsense. This is not a place for you to spew them. nonsense constantly and then Come spoil on. the fucking game. You gotta be Stop it now. If you keep it up, I'm going to have to ban PW dubs, and no one wants to see that. Okay? Grab some salt. All right. Fuck. Rob on wheels. Has done a 2,000-bit cheer to become the top cheerer of the day. Thank you, Rob on Wheels. Let's get you up on the leaderboard, and then we'll see what you have to say. <clears throat> Oops. 2K. 2,000-bit cheer. All right. All right. So, Rob on Wheels did a 2,000-bit cheer. And he says, I'm watching Valhalla. Thanks for keeping me company this year while I couldn't go outside. Uh, you're welcome, Rob. And I am blessed because I have a job that, you know, I was able to continue to entertain you guys on a daily basis in a, in a time and a place where a lot of people around the world did not have that capability to continue with their normal lives. A lot of people's lives got completely screwed over this year, which is absolutely horrible. God let this pandemic end as soon as possible. Um, people lost people this year. It was awful. 2020 for a lot of people was one of the worst years, if not their worst year of their life. And I was happy to be able to keep entertaining you guys. You know, I'm, I'm truly blessed in that regard that this is my job and I get to enjoy what I do for a living and I get to put out meaningful stuff for you guys every day. And you guys were entertained through a very awful year by my stuff. I'm, I'm honored, honored that that is the case. I mean, lucky because like i said last year i was strongly considering getting out of this and stopping it and can you imagine if i had started phasing out or even stopped doing this to get another job and then pff, that would have been the end of that i would have lost everything right um it's funny how things happen sometimes things happen for a reason as weird as that sounds because i'm not superstitious at all but i'm just kind of i'm happy that things i did not jump the gun on things last year because things could have been very different right very different. So, let's see what happens. But thank you, Rob, for the support. Thank you for supporting the streams all year, hanging out with me all year. I appreciate that, man. And again, anyone, anyone who this year hung out with me and was entertained, you're, you know, you're welcome. And thank you for watching and thank you for your support. Like I said yesterday, it's all about reciprocation. I'm here because of you. You're here because of me. You see, it all they are. That's the whole point of this. This is not me shilling to you. This is not... You know what I mean? Uh, you guys support me through crowdfunding, and that's why I'm here. So that's why this works, I feel, and is way more natural and organic and real than some of these other content creators who have contracts to stream, and all they do is fucking push paid products and shit. It's because they're paid by the big corporations. That's all they are. They're, they're fucking... They're, they are paid advertisement streamers, and people fall for that shit and watch their junk, and these people are fucking millionaires. Versus someone like me who I get to be honest with you. I'm here because you support me. What an idiot. I'm happy that you like the content. Thank you for that. Nose Vacuum cheered. Said, how would you rate my username? Well, considering that Nose Vacuum essentially means someone who's sucking up probably you know drugs into their nose constantly. Uh, I would say it's incredibly disturbing. I feel that you should seek help. I hope that you are talking to someone about this. 
if you do have a substance abuse problem, you absolutely should seek some kind of counseling. You should not let it go and think that it's something that's going to fix itself. It's not going to. You don't want to be the next Artie Lang, all right? And I like Artie Lang as a comedian. I think he's great. But that's a guy who, holy shit, he just couldn't stop. And, you know, you don't want to be a nose vacuum like that, okay? So stop it right now. Change your name and stop it right now. <clears throat> okay. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. All right, guys. Let us now, for the last time for the week, because today is Sunday and all these leaderboards reset overnight and we'll be at zero tomorrow morning on Monday. Let us now say thank you to those who have cheered this week. Thank you to the top cheers of the week is essentially what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I couldn't just say that. In 10th place, Golden Colts. In 9th place, Guitar Player 1939. In 8th place, Ripley Atomic. 7th place, Local Nomad. 6th place, Ninstar Room. 5th place, Timbo Slice. 4th place, Shiz O Network Gaming. Look how dumb they are. 3rd place, Shadow the Hedgehog. 2nd place, Lysifer Soul, the, the horrendous game spoiler. And in first place, Rob on Wheels. Oh my god, excuse me. Here we go again. Thank you guys very much for the support this week. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you to those who gifted subs this week to people on the channel. I mean, tis the season. And in fact, this I, this week coming up, Christmas week, what? I wonder if people are going to be in the festive mood and want to help out their fellow streamer. And we're going to see a lot of people getting gifted subs or not. Curious to see. But thank you to those who did give subs this week, including Diocletian, Guitar Player, Big Papa Phil, Mandalorian Merc, and Hell Knight 8719. Thank you guys very much for the channel support. Appreciate that. All right. AEG Glow Gang just cheered, and he said, Wagwan Boss Man, what would you rate as worse, the Great Recession of 2008 to 10, 2010 or 2020? Most of us here were some waste utes back then, but a big man like yourself can give us some perspective. <laughs> reading reading this stuff, reading it out like this is fucking hilarious. Anyway, um, the difference here is that the actual crash that happened in 2008 to 2010 was 100% preventable. It was complete dishonesty. It was complete irresponsibility of those what do I do? who are in power at America's and in the world's financial institutions that caused that crash. They fucked up in such a huge way because all they cared about was immediate personal gain. And we bailed them out. Figured that one out. Those people are mostly still rolling in dough. Figure that one out. Um, <clears throat> the recession this year is unprecedented because it's happened because of the pandemic. Right? Very different situation. Um, which is worse? Well, it depends. I guess we're really going to have to see how 2021 goes. Because if this pandemic persists and if these these uh, vaccines that are being approved and, and distributed are not as effective as we hope, this could be the worst thing ever. Seriously. Health-wise, financial-wise, everything. It could be one of the worst things ever to happen to mankind. So we have to see what happens with this. Um, but I think you can't, you can't really compare the two yet. You, you, you can't compare them until they're done. You can't be, you can't see one recession that has ended and another one that we're in the midst of and say, which is worse. You have to see how they both end and then compare them directly. Okay. So there you go. All right. All right, guys. Um, I think that's it. The pre-stream is ending early today. Can you believe it? The pre-stream is ending early. Early. So let's take a quick break. I'm going to use the bathroom. All right? And then when I come back, it's been pretty slow. Not going to lie.
Someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron.
I love Hulk Hogan's dick.
Wh what do I do? Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that.
That stinks. What happened? It glitched for me. It glitched. The Ziggy Piggy's back! It says yes, 0%, no, 100%. That's what it says on my screen. I think it glitched out. Because people are, a lot of people are voting yes. <laughs> anyway, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting to me. And what, what do uh, I do? Go ahead and vote. Uh, if, if the mods want to do stuff like this during the streams, uh, and of course, let me know, and I can talk about it on the stream so people would know what's going on. So right now, will the game crash in the first hour? Yes or no? And if it does or doesn't, you win. Cha you win channel points. That's pretty cool. Dead air. <clears throat> okay. And yes, someone just said in the stream chat, did I hear about this new bug that apparently if your your save file becomes over 8 megabytes in size, it can corrupt and destroy your game? Yes. And what actually people are being told is do not keep tons of items in your inventory. Constantly break down items or sell items. If you have an overabundance of inventory, it could make the save file get bigger. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. <clears throat> Hold on one second, I'm gonna blow my nose before we begin, and then we're gonna get started. Want to blow the nose. Here we go. Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Oh no. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so if you're gonna be an asshole, you're gonna be treated like an asshole. You're gonna be shown the door. All right, are we ready to start? By the way, I, got, I just realized I gotta start with the, uh, the gunner glasses because of that big tip that we got today, right? <clears throat> I could have blown my nose during the break. That is absolutely correct. I could have. Of course, my nose wasn't bothering me during the break. You know. Genius. Genius. Hello, Habib Gaming. How you doing? Ah. Hold on. I got to clean these glasses. I'm about to put them on and they're all smeared. They've got schmear on them. They've got the schmear. They've got Grow to be, up. They've got to be uh, polished. <clears throat> Genius. <laughs> so how the how did the the poll go? People voted, right? What was the overall result? Most people thought that the game would not crash in the first hour. Is that true? Jackie Smurf, thank you. Just thank congrats to the tier three subs recently. Yes, some anonymous persons gifting tier three subs to stream regulars, moderators, all kinds of people. So if you are one of those things, perhaps you also will will benefit. I don't know. All right, so here we are. Cyberpunk. Supposedly with the newest patch. It actually installed yesterday. There's a badge showing your vote. Oh, is that what that is? Oh! So the pink means you voted no, there will not be a crash, and the blue means you voted yes, you think there will be a crash in the first hour. Gotcha. So, all right. Technically, I'm starting right now, so that would mean up to 1 p.m. Pacific time. Okay? That's that's what we're using here for criteria, qualifying criteria. <clears throat> cyber dump? I did take a cyber dump right before this. I took a big cyber dump. Hello, bot. Bot and a bunch of random numbers that I'm not reading. So, by the way, look what just happened. No, I don't agree. Supposedly, they now fixed this bug that resets your settings. They're saying now if you set your settings, it should permanently save from now on. So I have to do this one more time. And this, if, if the patch that they issued worked, this should be the last time that I have to fuck with these settings. After this, it should save permanently. I guess we'll find out. What the fuck? I can't leave. Haha! <laughs> I can't leave! Are you shitting me? I can't leave the settings. The game... <laughs> the game... I can't, what, I can't believe I this! No, I seriously can't believe this. My they claim they fixed like, the act, settings. Act, act, now you can't leave laugh, the settings screen. 
Or <laughs> they made it worse. Does that sound like ack, 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 ack? <laughs> no, it sounds like that at all. Oh my god. You got to be kidding. Well, I can't play the game. We gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta back out. <laughs> this is all, this is it's, it's ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> we fixed it. You can now save your settings and won't revert. Oh, by the way, it's a trap. You go. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> it's a trick. It's like a box. They put a box with a stick and a carrot underneath. So you go for the carrot and the box traps you inside. It's like fucking Looney Tunes. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. By the way, that's not a game crash. That's a game bug. That's not a game crash. So that does not affect our predictions here. Just so you know. Error! User sending data going to be corrupted and cannot be loaded. <laughs> oh my god, this game is a fucking piece of donkey shit. <clears throat> this game's not even just a hot mess, it's just a mess. It's not even hot, it's just a fucking mess. Alright, can I quit? Okay. Now hold on, settings. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> Yikes. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyberpunk. And you missed out, because I wasn't recording yet, you missed out on a new game bug. So in the last day, uh, you CD Projekt Red issued another ginormous patch to the game. And this game, this patch was supposed to make it so that, if you remember previously in my playthrough, in the game settings, <clears throat> I would save things like disable copyright music, size of the subtitles, etc. And sometimes the game would just erase all my settings, right? So they patched the game claiming they fixed that. <clears throat> Guess what? When they did fix that, there's a new bug. Sometimes if you change your settings and you go to leave the screen, you can't. The screen freezes and you can't leave. You press circle, you can, you're stuck infinitely in the settings screen. So I got stuck in the settings screen, restarted the game, and then it said all your, sa your saved settings were corrupted. Do it again. This game, every, it's like two steps forward, two steps back. It really is. It, like, they try to fix shit, and then they just fuck it up worse. So, <clears throat> anyway, that being said. Welcome back to Cyberpunk. Last time around, we finished the Delamain questline and ended up getting a Delamain cab to drive around town. And just as we were doing that, we got a phone call from the detective. Here it is. We got a phone call from the detective saying he needs help. Probably it's a second part or follow-up to the original mission we had done for him. Where, what did he do? Did he do, did he whistle blow on his partner, uh, in regards to the the the, the cover up? Um, if you remember, he was covering up the murder of the mayor. Okay, we don't know what happened. What, what do I do? Um, so I kind of want to do that. At the same time, I was thinking about this. I have enough money now. You guys can't say I have forty thousand dollars. I have enough money. I can get one of those crazy leg upgrades, and I think I want to get one of those crazy leg upgrades. Um, but to do that, I would have to go to a ripper. I can actually afford it now. So here I am. And where is the Ripper? Dude, there's too many icons on this fucking map. What, what do I do? They seriously fucked this game up. How do they not know? This is too many... Look, this is too many icons. How do you not understand that? Did you even play your game before you fucking released it? Like, you don't know this is too much? What, what do I do? Anyway, um, they've never heard of pacing before, apparently. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to go to a ripper here. <laughs> Bot says get the double jump, because double jump and mantis blades are completely OP. <sighs> Where am I? I'm here. Okay. Okay. 
And... Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Say goodbye. There's a fast travel point over here. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, okay. Here we go. It was actually funny. Uh, someone tweeted me this morning, and they're like, Phil, you'll never believe it. Like, I've been doing all, the, I've been doing side content in Cyberpunk, and I finally found a good one. He's like, I did all these side missions, they were boring as shit, not meaningful at all. I finally found one that was really good. So the problem is it looked exactly the same as all the other missions. There's no way to tell between them in this game. So, you, you never know what's good and what's not. You can easily miss out on the best stuff in the game. Because it's wedged in with a bunch of fucking crap, you know, shovelware missions, essentially. Ugh. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Okay, I definitely want to get a leg upgrade, but the question is, which one do I want to get? What? They're 45,000? Oh... I thought they were 40,000. Shit. I can't get the leg upgrade yet. I gotta come back later. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. How's my inventory looking? I don't have money to do it. 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 I do want to equip some new stuff. A stupid mask. That looks like it's from fucking Ghost of Tsushima. This, this, I can't even equip yet. It's a crazy amount of armor, but it doesn't give me the boots. I need th that money. I really do. <clears throat> I need that money to pay my bills. I probably want to go sell some stuff. New shirt. What, uh, what weapons do I have? What are all these? I found some 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 better weapons. It looks like this one claims it's better DPS, but <clears throat> uh, I can't equip this yet. Why? This handgun. What, what do I do? Uh, thirty, level thirty. I'm level eighteen, dude. I can't use this handgun for a million years. I'm just gonna fucking sell it. What's this? The Overwatch. It's a smart double barrel shotgun. A smart shotgun? How does that work? Homes in on targets. Huh. A smart shotgun. That might be better than the smart rifle I'm using, actually. <clears throat> so hold on a second here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. How do I how do I unequip? I'm gonna equip the smart shotgun. Now I have two of them. Two twenty three, two thirty six. Is there any difference? This one is thermal damage. This one is chemical damage. I'll go for the chemical damage. It also says it looks overall like it does more damage, right? I think so. This is a tech rifle. All right, hold on. Let's equip this. Um. The tech rifle is not as good as my handgun. My handgun is just so crazy good. I don't know why it's so fucking good, but it's, like, insanely overpowered with this flame flame abilities and shit. See, the sniper rifle that I have is the one that I got for the, the mission. Yeah. And... I have this Widowmaker tech rifle. This one is also chemical damage. Nash's rifle looks like you won't be needing it anymore. Oh, this is unique. It's Nash's rifle when I killed Nash. I see. I'll hold on to it. So I'll sell everything except the Widowmaker. I'm going to sell all the other shit in my inventory. All the other guns. Yeah. This thing's it's like purple, but it's garbage. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to sell everything but that. We're going to sell all the other armor shit. Alright. So I need to find a vendor to sell. Right here. Cool. <clears throat> Why is the stream broadcasting at 720? It should be broadcasting at, at uh, 900p. I have not changed my settings at all. 
So if you're seeing it broadcast at 720, I'm not sure why you're seeing that. Oh. Jefferson? Look who's calling. Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Huh? Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the home. Come by. It's Jefferson's oh, fault. Okay. So this is weird. See you soon. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. That's weird because we already ha we got a follow up call from the detective, but now we've also got a call from our client, right? People are saying it's 900p. Okay, so if you're seeing 720p, you're watching at another resolution. Yeah. Uh, people are saying it's 900. I don't know why you would only see 720 because I'm definitely not broadcasting at that. Absolutely. I got a few contributions I need to shout out here. <clears throat> okay. So, let's sell all my shit. So the only thing I'm keeping, I'm selling that, is the Widowmaker, right? Do I have, I'm not selling what I have equipped. There's the Widowmaker. So we, okay, so that, okay, so this, and of course I'm not selling Lizzie. We are selling all of this. That's what I have equipped. Okay, here we go. Okay. So yeah, so there is a recommendation that you try to keep your inventory as small as possible. When the more inventory you have, the, the bigger your file size is. And if you're, you're save, you can believe this, just listen to this. If your save exceeds eight megabytes in size, it can corrupt and you lose all your progress in the game. Thank God it auto uploads the save files to the cloud. At least for me, every day it backs them up. Can you imagine if that happened? <laughs> Are we still? All, I'm gonna just keep. I'm always gonna keep the top melee weapon just to have one. So we're gonna keep this electric baton. I'm gonna sell everything else. Yes. What is this? A tanto. It's got high DPS, but it has no like special abilities at all. We'll just sell it. I'm so close. I'm 4,400. I need 45 to fucking get this leg upgrade. Maybe I can just sell a bunch of shit to get it. Let's see. <clears throat> level 30, level 30. I'm on level 18. I'm selling these things that are level 30. It's stupid. I'm going to get a million items before then. I'm so close. Are you serious? Look how close I am. I did it. Okay. I did it. I, I got the money. I can go back and get the upgrade now. Cool. The fuck is this? Oh, okay. All right, we can go back. Let's do some shout outs, though. Um, read the message from River. I have to read a message from River to get his uh, to get his mission going. So Yoshino Lover did 300 bit cheers and enjoying watching you play Cyberpunk. I started back playing it. The same thing happens to me. I can't leave the settings. It sucks because I had to redo some story and silly bugs. Nothing serious yet. The game has not crashed on me yet. I'm on PS4. Dude, you are lucky. I, this thing has crashed for me a bunch. So you are very lucky if it hasn't crashed on you at all. Sleepy Time J has subscribed to the channel for three months. Thank you, Sleepy Time, for the three month resub. Jethro's main cheer. He says, Why are you still playing this if it's possible you won't finish the game because you refunded it? Um, I, I will eventually finish it. So chillax. And I got a dollar tip from OMG, OMG, he is T-posing. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. All right. So, now we just got to go right back. My mouse is malfunctioning. It is. My mouse is malfunctioning. Stop this. Stop this right now. Now it works. All I have to do is yell at it. Okay. We can go right back to where we came from. Uh, fuck. Where was the alleyway? Here we go. Hey. Right back to where we came from, it's and I can buy a leg upgrade. I have just enough money. I was thinking about swapping okay. some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. So, I have two options. Reinforced tendons will let you double jump, or fortified ankle ankles let you do a power jump. I don't know which is better. I think double jump, if you can reposition yourself in midair, 
with a double jump, that would probably be better than an extra high jump. You know what I'm saying? Like, jump and then go a different direction. But I don't know if that's the case or not. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. What, what do I do? Should I get, what do you guys think? What, what do I do? Peter says get double jump. Habib Gaming says get double jump. Everyone's saying get double jump. Alright. We'll get it. We're doing it. I did it. I have zero dollars. What? Alright, let's see how this works. Hold on. Get me out of here. How's biz going? No, I don't... Uh, can't complain. Purple's learned to keep their distance. And... Okay, let's put it there it is. What the fuck? Whoa! Oh my god. I propelled myself up to a higher level that I didn't even know existed. I bet I could jump over this. I bet I could jump over like everything now. Look at this. So, is there like hidden shit all throughout the city now? Oh my god, you jumped so... Dude, that's super high. I wonder if there's hidden stuff all over that you can like get. Because I'm seeing all kinds of platforms here. Yeah, see? Can I get to the rooftops, you think? Oh my god. Look how high up I am. This is nuts. Now Pan Am is sending me a message? I'm not reading that shit right now. I'm busy. Did you see I'm fucking spider Manning it? I don't have time for your shit. Figure some stuff out for yourself. <laughs> uh, hmm. Can I get over there, you think? Dude, there's a million... Dude, this is crazy. Right? Now, can I get to the rooftop here? I don't know if I can... I'm trying to see where I can jump. I don't think I can grab that there. Can I reach this platform way the fuck over here? Yes! Oh my god, this is insane. The maneuverability is out of control. But now what? Now I seem to be a dead end. I go right there, I guess. Because obviously they built these platforms for a reason. Huh. Can I get up here? Ah, oh, shit. This reminds me of Mirror's Edge right now. I feel like I'm playing Mirror's Edge. Oh, I don't think I can get high enough. What, what do I now. do? I'm stuck. Nah, I can't what, get what up do there. I do? I think might be an invisible wall, actually. What, what do oh, I shit, do? I almost fell. Oh boy! Oh, I grabbed. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, this is crazy. this I made it all the way up here there's nothing up here though the thing like i can climb but i don't know if they actually put anything up here it's a little floaty too it's a little weird do you want to play the fucking it's definitely game a little weird. you don't have as much control as at first you seem like you would but man now i can go wherever i want right like i don't think there's anything to stop me I don't think any, like, oh, restricted area. Fuck all that. I'll just climb everything with double jump. Right? That's pretty nuts. Alright, I guess we gotta, we gotta take a look at some of these messages that I'm getting here. So, read the message from River. What did he have to say? We meet in the evening at the corner of Pacifico Boulevard and Market Street. 
Well, I'll strike you somewhere. I found Christine Marco. Oh, that was the previous message from the mission. Okay. So he wants me to meet him in Pacifica Boulevard and Market Street. Okay. Pan Am needs something here now. <sighs> So, you were right, V. It's good being back with your people. In NC, I felt like the loneliest person in the world. Trying to make me jealous. You're not wrong about NC. At least all you, you, or you, all of you are together. You won't lie. It's tempting. Or family gatherings are never really my jam, but still, I'm happy all of you are happy. Say that. It's official Pan Am's a bright again. Still hasn't really hit me yet. I'm still giving myself a trial period. You can't expect everything right from the start. I feel like things are taking a turn for the better. You sure? No harm in thinking you get over. The life of a lone wolf doesn't always end well. In any case, there's always a place for you with the uh, L... Aldecaldos. Anyway, I have to go before they get drunk off their asses or start another race. Take care. So is that... I guess that's it for her. That was the end of her plot line. But what's this? What? Sunset Motel Garage. I'll be waiting. Did we already do that? What, what do I do? So I guess we're done with that message. I guess. I... So as for um, missions, we got the hunt here with River. We got to meet River and try to follow up on the whole plot line of him being, you know, did he whistle blow? I'm curious to hear, did River whistle blow and is he in trouble? Is that what he want, He needs my help with? <clears throat> what is this? Oh, okay. The per Perilizes want to follow up on the same quest. They want to talk to me again. I don't know why. Okay. And then Wakako has a random mission for me, which we didn't even follow up on yet. This is that random delivery mission. This is just the race, the street races. So that's not super exciting. <clears throat> the tarot graffiti, if we come, come across it. Try talking to Barry. That's your neighbor. Um, and then there's find a psycho killer. Oh, finding and capacity all of the cyber psychos. Grow up. I found one of 17 so far. Man, that was a tough fight. Okay, I don't care about any of these gigs. These just seem to be completely worthless, these gigs. So, I'm not, I don't care about them. Um, and I'm not going to do any of these missions that are that are rated very high because I'm assuming that you need to be higher level to really do Stop those. Stop this! Uh, sufficiently. So, I guess I'll either go to River or we'll go to the par Paralyzes. I guess we'll see what River's up to. Why does he need my help? Did he whistle blow? I'm curious to see what happened with that mission. What is this? What the fuck? Huh? What? Why is there... What the fuck? How do I get what, rid of What do I do? Book? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why this what, what do I do? is there. What is this dotted line? I've what, never what even seen this on do? the map before. This dotted line, right? What, what do I do? I don't know why that's there. Anyway, this is where we're going to meet River. And we can fast travel over to here, I guess. Congress and Madison. So that's probably what, what, what I do I do? And I'm, I gotta level up as well. Now, hold on a second. What happens if I fall here? Oh, boy. I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Is there fall damage in this game or not? I guess I should save. <laughs> I don't know if there's fall damage. Someone please so shut up this dude we'll who's being a, a moron. Okay. Ready? Geronimo. Ow. I guess there's fall damage. Uh, Jethro's main cheer, he says, This game's poppins are so bad it makes PUBG look like it was done by Kojima. And, hey there, Elon Just cheer, he says, This cat... Go to Whole Foods? Yeah. No. We don't go to Whole Foods. What are you talking about? We haven't gone to Whole Foods. We've never been to a Whole Foods, actually. Alright, so fair enough. You can't just jump off the rooftop like a crazy asshole. You know, you're not Spider-Man. You don't webs to stop your fall. I guess you have to you have to go step by step. Okay. There you go. Fine, there you go. Just go step by step. Gotcha. Okay, now we go to the, the fast travel. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's fast travel down here. Very nice. 
Very nice. <clears throat> What's weird is there was fall damage when I was doing that mission. Remember, we were trying to save Saul? And then forgive me fall damage on the rooftop and killed me, like, instantly for no fucking reason. It didn't even make sense. I felt like an inch, and it said I, I, I have enough fall damage to die. <clears throat> Very odd. What the hell are you talking anyway, about? Okay, here we are. Uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, oh my god, that's disgusting. The hunt. Okay, so it is it is correct. That's where we're going. Now, I want to level up. What do I want to put a point into? It seems like everything has to hit 9. If everything hits 9, that's when you can do like better stuff. So, body, this would this would allow me to open more doors. Technical allows me to hack more or open certain doors. Intelligence also. So, all three of these are important. I'm going to go with body. Oh, reduce your fall damage. Increase your max stamina. Health will regenerate up to 70% of your max health outside of combat. And epimorphosis. Increase your melee damage. He mashed a button and got a random throw. Hmm. Reduce recoil of shotguns and light machine guns. Hmm. Nah. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's too many options. Again, I've complained about this many times in the playthrough. I'm going to continue to complain about it. There's just too many options, and you can't figure out what you really want to do. It's too too much to do. I've done all this, all this quick hacking upgrades, yet for some reason I've never even hit, like, level 2. See? I never even hit, like, level 2 here, and I don't know why. Even though I put all this shit into it, I don't get it. What, what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> Super Novich here, he says, did you see, did you meet the co-carnage guy? He was, he was very early on, standing in an alley, and I skipped him, and I really don't care to go the back. The game devs so. were basically completely <laughs> I don't give a shit. idiots who didn't understand how to make combat mm -hmm. in any kind of a game. I don't even know what to do here. I don't know anymore. There's too much in the game. I Seriously, there's too much in the fucking game. <clears throat> Non-lethal aerial takedowns on underwear targets. I think I should do that. What, what do I do? Yeah, watch this. I'm going to do double jump and land on top of everyone and do non-lethal takedowns with the double jump. Hopefully it works. All right. I think we're gonna have to skip time because I think he's gonna meet him at night. What the fuck? Oh! That's what's with their car. Hello, Ripley Atomic. He cheers says, how, how am I? I'm doing good. Uh, hoping that we're gonna have some fun stuff today. We're following up here on the mission with River to see what happened. Did he whistle blow or not? What was his choice when he found out that his partner was involved in the cover up, the murder of the mayor? Let's oh. find out. What the shit? What? Random crime? There's a shootout going on. What do I do? Man. Well, I'm ignoring uh, what, what do I do? What, what do I do? What, what do I do? Okay, the waiting spot. Sit and wait. Well, Here we go. This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. What, what do I do? All right, see what happens. Hopefully this is a good story. Don't know. We'll find out. Some time later. Okay. There he is. He showed up. Hey, V. How you holding up? 
been better. So, I know. In deep shit. Probably not hard to tell. <clears throat> yeah, what happened? So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh huh. First, take a look. Okay. What's he got? Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today, With dead politicians. A routine Just watch it. Led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. Huh? The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Hmm. Easy, officer. Relax. And shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. They shot him. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez. Oh, we saw this earlier in the game. We watched this on TV. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting that we're, we're seeing this news report again. To one Damn, this guy's a serial murderer, huh? Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Okay. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. This is uh, Peter Pan. He in no case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. Hmm. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past and what you just saw The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. What oh, Jesus? So this has nothing to do with the first river quest line at all. It's completely different. Okay, and what they figured you get emotional and kept you off the case More like a restraining order won't let me anywhere near it. Ah Gonagal took the lead That's on why it. He wants you to help Lazy him. ass gonk and so far he ain't accomplished shit No way I'd let this lie. Mm -hmm. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your Watch you to look into the what missing do we need kids. To do? Okay. Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but we can view his dreams. Oh, brain dance. Sorry, okay. Dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. We're going to do brain dance into his fucking dreams, apparently. Should we cheers? I finished Cyberpunk on Friday about 50 hours in. I was on Xbox Series X. I didn't have any big issues. I enjoyed the game, but I definitely get yours and other people's gripes about combat and mission structure. And bugs. I know. I know. Expecta I, I had low expectations, so I think it was key in my personal enjoyment. Really, Tommy Chaser. Why does V have a Boston accent? I don't know. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as VDs. Mm hmm. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. So let me guess. We're gonna bring it to the lab, steal the dream. And then do a brain dance to try to figure out where the missing kids are. If they're still alive. That's very interesting. That was a random news report we watched earlier on in the game in our apartment. Remember when we first got to our apartment? We watched that back. And now it comes okay. to play later in the game. Got an appointment? Not exactly. <clears throat> we'll go in together, but uh, not through the main entrance. Oh, we're going to break the law? We'll find a different way in. So loud, quick. Never right. Actually, been here, so I'll need your help. Jad F. used to play the whole River Quest line and the Elizabeth Paradez one, both awesome. Well, I just got the call from that Paradez guy, so maybe we'll do that today. Maybe this is what we'll work on. All right, so he's having me sneak into the lab from the back way. Let's see here. Can't open that door. I just heard a blood curdling scream. It's always a good sign. I don't have high enough technical ability. Twelve. I only have eight. Now this okay, shot's that's not happening. Uh, what's this? What the hell? Is there liquor in there? What the fuck? Why was there liquor in there? All right, I double jump, dude. I'll just go in this way. Fuck it. Double jump over what, what everything. What do I do? 
Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great. What now? We find our entrance. They have an audit today. Should be a ghost town. Haha, look at this. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. Nope. Where they're keeping the BD. Likely the room one. Should be labeled as Anthony Harris. Walked right in the window. Any items in here? Oh, what is that? Whoa. Wait a minute! That's Death Stranding, dude! A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. What the hell? Death Stranding Easter egg. It, uh, that's awesome. I had no idea there was a Death Stranding Easter egg in the game. That's cool. It's the freaking, uh, the BB. Oh, all right. Well, that's neat. That's a tribute to Kojima. They put that in the game. The BB. I found the BB. <laughs> cool. What's this? Locked. Can't get in. Ah. Okay. In Star Wars said I clapped when I saw Cyberpunk. What? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Upcoming audit. Nothing here. No sign of any BDs. I'm not reading all this. Wait, is it a file? Is there a file there I need? A novel phobia? Fear of the number 91? What the fuck? I'm afraid of 91. Well, goodbye, BB. That was a cool, cool reference. What's this? Documents. What's this? Buy something for $90. I guess we gotta search every room, huh? Oh, this one doesn't open. This door doesn't open. Hmm. <clears throat> Nothing in here? Nope. Nope! Nothing in any of these rooms, huh? A computer? Distract enemies with the computer. This door doesn't open. Got some kind of shot. The bathroom! Piss. Oh, the bathroom. Okay. He's looking at all the rooms, yeah. Did I hate my job. Well, I'm not gonna read it. That's the door out, okay. He was right, the whole building's empty. <clears throat> Aha, what's this? Just another computer, hack enemies or whatever, or uh, distract enemies. Brain dance conditioning, and there's the phobia. And this is the same emails, same emails. Every single room has a fucking laptop in it. In there? Probably in there. What's this? Another laptop just sitting there. Why'd they all leave their laptops out? I understand they're under audit, but why would they just leave their laptops lying around like that? This door does not open. Okay. <coughs> The lag was so bad there at the end. What happened? Why the lag is so serious? Oh, shit. What the hell? They're keeping kids in here? It certainly looks like it. Brain dance chair. Business related, I still have it. Ah. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Okay. Um, Ripley Atomic Chase, if they released Outlast 3, would I play it? Likely, yes. Likely, I would give it a shot, even though I really didn't like 2. I'd probably give it a shot. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's case. Yo! What are you doing here? To... You got kicked off the force! Oh, shit, he did? Just suspended. Actually. What does she mean by that? Uh, he hasn't told you. 
Yo, uh, please listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. What the fuck did you do to your eyeballs? Jesus. The protocols? <laughs> Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out Listen, now. you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. <laughs> this type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Shit. <laughs> Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. What? I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. Nah. River and I get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Are we now? I thought I was just I thought us taking jobs. Too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? Whoa. What the fuck? He isn't dreaming. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. I'd like Try to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. Hmm. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Hmm. Uh. Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. <laughs> Okay. Let's try. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean, you're willing to try? Uh, excuse me. Ooh. Just his arms twitching. Go. I'll Stop. open the front door for you. <clears throat> Let's ride, B. I know exactly where to start. Okay. Street cred went up. So I guess she's gonna do this for us, even though she's against it. And what's with him getting kicked off the force? We didn't know about that. So maybe he did whistleblow based on the, the whole assassination of the mayor plotline and they suspended his ass. <clears throat> Greed is massively strong. Pretty fucked up. Cops seem to like you. Careful this one doesn't start sending you out for donuts. <laughs> what? No, River's all right. For a cop, you mean. Not every cop's a bastard. Just like not every rocker boy is a narcissistic dickhead. Don't know, V. You ever actually met a rocker boy who didn't fit that description? Uh, all in all, no. Okay. Back to the car. Say goodbye. <clears throat> some of the conversations that you have are interesting with Johnny. Some are not so much, but some are. What the hell? Where was he? What was he doing over there? He was buying a candy bar or something. <laughs> he was he was buying a, a paper towel to wipe the lube off his face from the last time we played this, and he <laughs> had that fucking grapple glitch. There you go. Cabal of the Rock, I've not seen any Witcher Easter eggs. That was the first Easter egg I saw, BB, which was really neat. I liked that. Penny Lord of Destruction, just resubscribe for 13 months. Okay. Thank Let you. Hear it. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, didn't tell me you got fired. Lost your badge. <clears throat> didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> that it do. It's just, um... Uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. Hmm. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. 
Uh, should we be looking for Harris's place? I haven't mentioned Randy's dad. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Hmm. Randy's one of them. <clears throat> oh, I get it. Hell of the Rocks is there's an outfit called the Wolven set, so, or something similar. So that's a reference. And also, the arcade game was called Roach Race, the name of the horse in, in Witcher's Roach. I gotcha. I didn't understand that one at first. You're gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find <clears throat> Harris's apartment? It's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. Besides, we are trying. I want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Loss. Not that I'd use it. But I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. <laughs> okay. Think Yawin will actually help us? All things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. <laughs> okay. We really ought to focus on finding Randy now. Of course. <laughs> Moronic Frost is surprised he hasn't crashed into another car yet, the way this game plays. <laughs> Alright, I don't know how much further the ride is. I guess we just skip the ride. Let's look the dialogue's up. We'll just skip it and go right to the destination. <clears throat> I guess it's cool, it's realistic, where you could, if you want to sit for the whole car ride, you can, but obviously for time constraints here of the playthrough. Right. This is it. <clears throat> It's sure been a while. I used to come over every weekend. There we go. And? Changed it all since? Places like this never change. Okay. Small house. Very small. Oh, that's not the house we're going to. The one over here. Little public seating area. Reminds me of uh, Life is Strange 2. Remember they were kind of living in a camp like this? Lovely small houses. Oh. They disappeared. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> Aquarium. No shit. You just scan it to find that out. Oh, I, I pretty much knew it was an aquarium. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Skulls. Oh, painted skulls. Like Day of the Dead skulls. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Why she said it three Wouldn't times so far? If you, didn't. <laughs> you either got business with me or news. Oh, the fourth time Ooh, she said it. it. Gonna eat, eat, eat the height. Oh, Joss, me V. Glitched. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I. Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? <laughs> we need to go through Randy's stuff. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. Okay. The kids are playing outside. Tell him it's time to eat. <laughs> What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. Wait, I thought we were going to go through That's his stuff. Trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? 
Oh, it's a different trailer. Oh, it's this trailer over here. Here's the kids. Monique, Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Damn, they're tiny. Just <laughs> a friend. Ugh. Tiny kids. You're gonna steal Grow her? up. We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you with dinner. What do we got? Cards? I stole his fucking playing cards. That's fucked up. Get get high at home? What? <laughs> How to get high at home? What the fuck? Was he making meth in here? Maybe he was. A record this is their player. Old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around. I'll check the trash. Look in the mirror. Check the trash? What's this? Another log on the toilet. Drugs on the floor? Let's not go there. Yeah, he was a druggie, apparently. Society's fault. Whoa, Johnny here again. Yeah, it sounds like the kid was a druggie. Whoa. It's like another poster on the wall. Tainted Overlord. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. He used to send me out every year for his PD. Hmm. Whoa. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. So what this case is locked? Or what's this? Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Huh. Give her a pill, hmm. and that's it. Because you're just gonna waste our time again. So he's poor. What you doing with this tech? No chance, Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. And we gotta get in, but I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Hmm. Password? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh come on, seriously? I'm one point short again. This is happening so much. It's very frustrating. When you're Let's one go. point short for being able to do an option you want to do. Son of a bitch. New Star Room Tree said drugs on the floor. We got drugs on the floor. Shoot up in your face and cook some fucking more. Fucking Ugh. Well, we can't do that. Come on. Ah, Guitar. Oh god, smash it before he starts playing some fucking tunes from The Last of Us. Seriously. Stealing items. I'm stealing all the shit. <laughs> Fucked up. Loot the whole house. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere to open the cabinet. <clears throat> Don't know where he would hide a key. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't want to look in the mirror. What, what do I do? What, what do I do? Don't know how, River. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? Uh. I can't interact with the computer. Framed still? Who's the girl? That's Where's their framed Let's still? Go. Here. Who's the girl? His ex, Natalie. The Ziggy Piggy's back! It's in the pig. 
What's your name? Natalie? Gonna have to keep trying. Hmm. Dear mother report departs? Dear mother departs. What? Come on, Reed. I'm looking around. Shut up. I'm looking for it. If we can find the key to this stupid cabinet. Pardon me. I'm really not seeing anything else. What the hell? <laughs> Today's been incredibly slow. Oh. And now the Caldo's jacket? Keep sick. <laughs> Here's that. Hmm. What's his dad's name? Let's move. Let's go. Can't see. What the fuck is that? It's so dark. Is that a waste basket? I can't tell. It's too dark to even see it. <laughs> they keep prompting me to look in the mirror. I got my hair back. But I wonder if the reason I got my hair back is because I'm not wearing a helmet or a hat anymore. Turn on the record player. Ooh, liberum arbitrium. Dark shit. Sound could use work, but you can tell they put blood, sweat, and tears into it. <laughs> okay. Jad of his cheers says, I'm playing the game wrong. I need to commit to a build. Body for physical doors and dialogue intimidation. Intelligence for hacking and clever dialogue. Technical for doors and lockers. Cool as charisma. Commit only to two, three max. Do not spread. Well, it's too late for that. <laughs> it's way too late for that. Randy's nickname? What's that? Reed is the massively Randy strong. Tag. So if you're going to be an asshole, you're going to be treated like an no, asshole. You're going to be shown the door. There, you. <laughs> Sitting out in the open. Name tag. B. Randy. Whoa, what was that? Oh, there's a player. Turn it off. Too loud. There's nothing else I can interact with in here? It's a weird, a weird mystery investigation. I don't know what else to do. What, what do I do? Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Huh. Help me have a look around. Okay. So, files. Black Metal. Play one Blades of Doom trilogy. Ghost of the Ancestor Salvation. ATT cart video. What the fuck? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. <laughs> My skin's crawling. Yeah, what is going on here? What am I looking at? Uh. Sorry from Anthony. It's bad that he's sitting in Thor. Harrison, a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. Oh, yeah. That's what he's saying there. Thanks. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? He tried to befriend these kids before he abducted them. Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. Hmm. Yeah, I'm this guy again. baited Randy like a pro. Yeah, he did. He made him sound like a shoulder to cry on about all his problems, right?
Natalie, that's his ex. River, do you? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Hmm. Yeah, see? I didn't have a normal family either. My mom died, blah, blah, blah. Now they're talking about... Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Yeah. Can we view this page with a link? Gail? From Gail to Randy. <sighs> Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Is the page Randy mentioned? Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that. Contact us? Is that it? Uh... Click on the image on the drugs are bad side. The image? Tony Shelter? Page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Hmm. Can the queen stick around? Join us. Welcome to Tony's Haven. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That's what we watched, though. The name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Yeah, we already, we already watched it. Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. This cartoon is Here's the key. Open. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Get Harris's IP address? Uh, how to do that? <clears throat> Doesn't seem to do anything when I'm clicking this shit. get his IP address. There's got to be a way, right? I don't know. Ruby Tommy Chudy says, the devs are the cow and the farmer is the management. <laughs> She's like slapping what the I devs do? around. Huh. I don't know how to get his email address. Or his email address. His uh, IP address. The fuck? I don't know how to do that. Clicking on everything here, you know, like. What, what do I do? <laughs> uh, how do I do this? These are his messages, obviously, but how what, would you get his IP do? address out of an email? What, what do I do? I'm clicking everywhere. I don't know. What, what do I do? <laughs> How the fuck would you do that? What, what do I do? Uh, <laughs> it's a gift on its way again called Big Trouble in Haywood, right? There's a sick motherfucker on the internet called Super Hound, whatever the fuck this idiot's name is. Maybe you don't get it from here? Maybe from the game? Oh. I needed to have 12. I don't have it. 
So I'm done. I can't get it because I don't have it. I don't have the skill to do it. Not that kind of magician. Yeah, I don't have it, I see. Okay. <clears throat> we'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Okay. Says ah, you'll get back to me. He's by walking morning. into me. And that I am a son of a bitch. And uh, uh, come on. Let's grab a bite. <clears throat> Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Okay. Well, I guess I'd try to use this cartoon. All right. Use the cartoon to trigger the memories of the dead, the dead guy. <clears throat> Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers. What? Yeah. Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed then. We left some for you, Uncle River. There's some next gen food Excellent. here. Look at this, man. It looks great. A pile of, of duty right there she's eating. <laughs> the hell? <clears throat> Next gen grub. Tell me you found something. Yep. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him. Kids. Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Have mine. I'm not hungry. It's two big sausages. Thanks. Maybe later. Two big kabasi and a pile of duty. <laughs> Amazing. Tch. Amazing you, grub. No bullshit. Don't look at my brother. Just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss. You mind if he takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. <clears throat> sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. All right. Of course I'll stay. Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. <laughs> He's a real piece of shit. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. <laughs> wow. You found a winner, huh? <laughs> there were times <laughs> I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Jesus. How'd he die? How'd he die? <laughs> Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Ooh. Couldn't see the honor in that. All right, so the prediction result. We had a prediction at the beginning of today's stream. Would the game crash within one hour of playing? And it did not. It did not crash. There were bugs, but the game did not crash. So everyone who voted no, it would not. Just won up uh, some channel points. And everyone who voted yes, it would crash. You're now all permanently banned from the channel. Goodbye, adios. See ya next year. Or see you, see you next Christmas. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. But some people want some channel points. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, anyway. Let's um, change the subject. <clears throat> Go to sleep. All right. So. What's next? I thought we were going to send that video to... Hey, what's wake up. Here? Uh oh. Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. Okay. He's dreaming. That's what we're waiting for. You got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. But I gotta take a piss. Come on. Let's we'll go, man. Quick. Not bad. <laughs> Another was
was the fourth brain dance of the game? I think so. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. Oh god. It's a memory from his childhood. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. Huh. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? Whoa! What were you thinking? He would grow the hormone. Is this something your father taught you? What the fuck? Good people took you in. Extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. His friend died? Fuck you. <gasps> what did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. The principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. You can kill him with this fucking the Ziggy Piggy is here. My dad. That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut oh. up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you you prick! You you can't! You you can't! He he was Whoa. sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. What the fuck? He hallucinates this kid. What in the fuck? This kid hallucinates. He sees crazy shit. A cow with a mask on. Okay. Well, let's uh, rewind and look for clues, shall we? What the fuck? What, what do I do? First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Now hold on. Let me check which school won that tournament. Ah. Laguna Bend. <clears throat> Looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. Okay. I guess that'd be that. Whoa. What the hell? Look at this. Why are we teleporting here? Oh, I recognize this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Okay. Anything else? No, the teacher went out the door. Don't really see anything else, but maybe we can listen to audio. Maybe there's like an audio conversation. I don't see anything else around. Okay, so now we go. That's thermal. Here's audio, right? Okay. Let's see. We can find anything around. shoes and that backpack glowing on the thermal. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, I guess maybe we're done here. 
I guess it was it was over there. I don't know. Are we done here? Okay, we're going to the next section of the brain dance. I guess we did the first part. Hello, Jay Bowler. How you doing? So what's weird is even the hallucination becomes a part of the memory, right? Like he sees it as real. Tony, where you going now? Come here. Coming. He sees this cow as real. Tony, come here. This is his dad. Yeah, his dad killed himself. Or he did something. He killed himself. I asked you a question. Jesus. I, I don't know. Choline and methionine levels. See anything odd? Um, too low? You were supposed to check before school. What do you gotta say for yourself? Cow's gonna die because of you. Gonna kill it like you killed your mama. I... Killed your I'm mama? Sorry. What? Don't apologize. Just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon. How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Hmm. Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off. Why is he walking so slow? What the fuck? You saw that? He saw a person and there's no one there. What the hell is going on? This kid is constantly seeing shit. The cartoon. <clears throat> Guess that'd be that. So it says look for clues to help find Randy optional. So I guess we rewind and look for more clues, right? This is fucking weird. How did he see someone behind the, the tarp and then there was no one there? See look. His mother? Paris looks even younger here. Yeah, it's supposed to be his mother, I guess. Dina Danilova? Who the fuck is Dina Danilova? Huh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Weird shit, man. <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Hmm. What's weird is they didn't address Dina Danilova. They're not saying anything about her. Weird. Slapped. Looks like a cattle bioscanner for checking vitals. Damn it. Get yeah. up. Uh. Weird. I don't know, I'm not seeing anything. I don't know what I'm looking for what here. Do what, what do I do? Come here. Yeah, yeah. What, what do I do? There's definitely something else I didn't find, but what? What do you gotta say for yourself? What, what do I do? I was gonna die because of you. Uh. <laughs> what, what do I do? Nothing here. That goddamn cartoon! It looks like there's something you're supposed to find, but I don't know what. 
right? Oh. Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. Wh what do I do? Okay. Wh what do I do? How many times I gotta tell you not to leave like that? Aha. Uh -huh. Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. All right, only one more. It's the very beginning. There's something that I missed. The very, very beginning. You can see in the timeline. What is it? Hmm. What am I missing here? Oh! See that? Cow sick. Like the rest. Okay. So we got all those. Now on to the next one. Cool. Hooey! Oh! Alright, there's another one. Whoa. Is this this might be pre like present day? What the fuck is that? There's a dude crawling around in there. Oh, this is where he has all the people he kidnapped. He puts them in the cow farm. That's where he is. He went back to the cow farm. Yup. Oh, this is fucking creepy, dude. Imagine being kidnapped and living in here, and he fucks you up. Oh man, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, look. All his victims. Jesus. Ugh. Horror movie shit. Yeah, look. He's trying to escape. Really? Thomas, does he inject him with hormones? Maybe? I mean, he's nuts. Maybe he does. He treats him just like the cows. Yes, yeah, so his legs are broken. He can't fucking walk. Oh my god. I think he broke all their limbs. Wow. Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Jesus. Easy now. That's fucking creepy. I think this might be the place V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. No shit. What? How do I scan? There we go. Fuck me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, the illuminated towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. The colors changed every hour. Okay. <laughs> the guy walks. Oh my god. He walked like that when he was a kid, too. He's a fucking weirdo. Machine controls an injection system for... Stimulants, hormones, something. What's this? Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. Petrochem. Jesus, he's a creep. Look how he fucking walks. Another infusion pump. Ah. Fire department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. Aha. Uh -huh. We're getting uh some data more data. What's that? The terminal controls the pens. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm getting the hang of this this brain dance now. See each one there's a section of data you Look, grab. Another one. Yep, it's all the victims. All his friggin' victims. Don't see Randy anywhere. <laughs> no. 
now. What are we looking for here? Aha! Give her a pill, and that's it. Because you're just gonna waste our time again. Hmm. Oh, it's over here. Ah. What is that? Electrical part. Like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. All these turrets and mines, they're controlled by some other tech, not the comp in the barn. Hmm. Audio? There's an audio log here to listen to. What are we listening for? Ah! Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. I don't have money to do it. 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 That's it. We did it. Well, it says there's two more, though. Actually, I'm so sure, River. We ought to explore a bit more. Yeah. I can't. It's it's glitched. Yeah, I can't. Let's go with your gut. I can't do anything. It glitched out. I have to leave. It sucks because there's two more things to find. Oh, wait. Now it's working again. <laughs> There's two more pieces of data. But what? What's this data? Oh! Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Okay. That's gotta be all she wrote in this one. Probably right. Okay. Got some cables. That's it. Now we found everything. Okay. That was weird. It glitched out. Wouldn't let me move for a bit. Critical Red just did 150 bit cheers. I appreciate you giving the game a fair chance with all the bugs and whatnot. To get the most out of it, I recommend doing some Chinatown side quests. Cool. Thank you. I got hey, one of them. So I haven't done them yet, where do we though. we sit now, exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a oh, we got a glitch. It's leaving signal range. This is supposed to be on the Farm's screen. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that too. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Hmm. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. Nice. That's got to be our place. They figured it out. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah, look, it's glitched. You are leaving signal range just stuck on my fucking screen. It won't go away. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Bug after bug after bug, man. What the frick? <laughs> it won't go away. Oh. oh my god. Stupid. Stupid. Woo! Never gonna go away. I I'm going to wood and trim it. I'm Japanese. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> more two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> so how he felt. What was eating at him? This so isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! We got a new, uh, what's this? How many glitches will Phil discover? New prediction. All right. Now, what are the two, what are the two options? 10 or more before the break, under 10 before the break. How many have we had so far? At least two to three today, right? We've at least had three or four. We had the controller not working during the, during the brain dance. We had this one right here where this is stuck on my screen, right? We had the woman saying the same line of dialogue four times, right? That was at least three. What the fuck? We just drove into a van for absolutely no reason. That's four. 
The fuck? That was four. We had a live one right there. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I'm trying to think if we had any more. We had at least four. I can think of four off the top of my head. Do we have any more? Oh, the, the menu. When I first booted the game, the menu didn't work. I had to restart the game. That's five, right? That's five bugs. That's definitely five. My laugh sounds okay. like ack, ack, So I guess we ack. need five more before the break. <laughs> I'm taking a break in <laughs> roughly 35 minutes. Does that sound like ack, 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 ack? No. Ooh, excuse it me. It sounds like that at all. Okay. Doobie, 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 doobie. I guess we just skipped a ride. I think we were there anyway, actually. Ruby, tell me, are you a better driver than River or worse? Now, probably worse. I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably be worse. <laughs> Grab something. Oh, what the f Drove right through the, the fence. River, this is the farm. We got it. <laughs> I know. Let's get to the barn quick. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Hold on. I'm just looking at something, guys. Give me a second, and then we'll get right back to the game. I promise you. Ah! Okay. And, oh my god. You know, my mouse would work today, which is not working very well. It's pissing Stop me off. This. Okay, hold on. All right, now we're good to go. Sorry for the distraction. <clears throat> Whoa. We got turrets. Turn off. What the? Oh my god, there's mines! Yo, there's fucking mines everywhere! Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. Oh no! Oh my god! Yeah, no shit! Fucking shit, dude. Alright, I guess we gotta try that again. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick. Have some salt. I can't block. That's a lot of mines. Same exact thing about someone dying. Whoa, 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 them. what's that? What yeah, the fuck? Hey, well, like, yeah. I'm not doing well, nothing. They'll die I'm here like from the blue. Around. Around. Uh, dude, I'm not doing anything. So, I don't know why we're freaking out I swear out to God, this. I'm not doing really anything. Don't. He started sliding me all over the place. That's the bug. There's something weird here with the... It, it was sliding me. I was just standing still. I was even touching the thumbstick. <laughs> this game is fucking wild. Industrial shutters. I'm not even near it. What? I wasn't even near that mine. What are you talking about? I guess I'm gonna have to manually deactivate every fucking mine here. What? What, what do I do? Can I seriously hack every mine? How? Disarm. that I got inside this building maybe this will help me get to the barn so likely this is where he lived he lived in this building and then he had the fucking all the victims in the building next door the barn it's fucked up 
Oh yeah, Battle Dog says you can shoot the mines. I guess you can also hack or shoot the mines, depending on what you want to do. How'd you get in here? What? I just made $700, by the way. How the fuck did he get in here? I don't know what I'm going to go through, but what's upstairs? Crazy. But the mind of a crazy asshole, right? Stole his gun. Oh, I'm a computer. What's he got in his PC? Brain dance kit? User's manual. It's all the, the emails to Anthony and other people too. Ray Ray Bongo. Tell him the fuck off. Thrilled you overcome your illness. I you live rent fail. free in their heads 24 fucking 7. There's another way to get in the, the uh, window. If I didn't have the tech ability, I could use the window. Bathroom. Time to look in the mirror. Uh, trash game online. It really is trash. Okay. So if you're gonna be an asshole, you're gonna be you're treated like an asshole. Door. You're gonna be shown the door. Okay. Treyarch, now. go fuck yourself. No, Can really. You keep going this way. That is so many mines. <laughs> Been pretty slow. What? I don't know what happened. I don't even know what happened. The turret I tried to disact deactivate it, I get shot and dead anyway. Critical registry, so I've been watching this Red of Shadows. I was in elementary school, I didn't have any current gen consoles at the time. I had no look for my parents to buy me a 360. Do you want to play on the crappy Rivers, PS2 the version? So I just we watched your vids for exposure. I Dude, I do the Let's whole thing the over. Part. Dude, fuck this. The dumb fucks didn't even put a checkpoint into the fucking mission. Heads They're up. so stupid. Turrets are live. The system controlling them must be no in the house. checkpoints. Good job, morons. Breathe a bit. Got the last stretch of the barn left. Jed air. Fuck you, Treyarch, dumb fucks. The Ziggy Piggy's back! see a ladder. A ladder on the side. Double jump, baby. Double jump for the win. I made it. I double jumped my way in. River, come here quick! Oh, fuck. We made it. Stole some euro dollars. Counterfeit documents I just got. Okay. Surveillance system. Turned it off. Access point. Okay. They're telling me that's the access point to the local network. Turn off the brain dance machine. Lock and load, little lizard. What, what do I do? Gotta shut it off. What the fuck? It's a dead end. How do I get in there? Okay, all yep. disconnected. Check the other. Could still be alive. Right. What do I do? 
It's Dark Dave's fault. Is it him? Miserable. Just miserable. What the fuck? Some blew up outside. How do I check on this victim? Here we go. Five. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Jesus. This is so fucking messed up, man. But at least we're saving everybody. Right? Be dead a few days already. Oh, fuck. At least we got another one. We saved someone else. Help me with Randy. No, I'm trying to save this person. Relax. It's okay. Oh, nice. See they're you. they're alive too. We're here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Cool. So we saved help two of them. I need to loosen this. Help me. Okay. scrambled at least you found him there's a chance maybe he'll be fixed who knows jeez fucked up you're supposed to be following the game following the fun so game I need to do that like double jump I need to abuse that shit I just need to be double jumping over everything fuck the mines fuck everything right <laughs> we did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. Jeez. Pretty sick. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Don't do it. Ever, come on. You're a better man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain dead vegetable? That's it. No, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah, need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? <clears throat> really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Will we see him again, or is this the end of his quest line? Completely. Jose Martinez did a 300 bit cheer and says, Are you going, uh, how are you doing today? Are you ready for the holidays? Uh, doing well. And, uh, doing some side quests in the Cyberpunk. This this quest wasn't so bad, though. It was pretty dark and twisted, kind of like a horror movie. Um, <clears throat> am I ready for the holidays? Yes. It's going to be exciting doing holiday theme stuff on stream and then having some time with my family later this week. Always, always, uh, appreciate it when that happens, so. So now they're not going to let me back in the house to get that money, are they? They're like, oh no, the mission's over. You can't go back in now. Watch. <clears throat> they taped everything up. Look. You fuckers. Yeah, they did. Even the windows up here? Yup. They boarded everything up. So if you don't get the money, remember it was $700? If you don't get the money during the mission, yup, they blocked it. You can't go back in. Well, that stinks. Because I had it and I died randomly to nothing. Stupid fucking game. Oh well. 
What's in the shed out here? I didn't actually even go in here before. Anything in here? Upgrade components. That's about it, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of upgrade components. Alright, so we're done. <clears throat> we did it, right? What the fuck is this? What is that? Can I jack in here? Yeah, I can. Weird, okay. BD 55 1CE9. There you go. I ended up getting 900 credits from that antenna. Oh, there you go. The Ziggy Piggy is here. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So, where are we right now? Because we are in a, a totally new area of the map. Yeah, okay, there's fast travel right there. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. What am I doing tonight? Tonight we're doing Black Ops Cold War. Okay. Um, next mission. I would say, let's do this dream on. Go to the per Perilous's apartment and see what they want, right? What's the next part of their quest line? Alright, let's go to the fast travel. Which is somewhere around here. Right around the corner. Pan Am again? Pete, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? <laughs> I have a problem. Again? You got a problem you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Right. Well, Yes, I did, but I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? Mm. On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. So, <laughs> right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Oh, it's the same shit. <laughs> Yoshino over did 100 bit cheer. Thank you, Yoshino, for the cheer. I'm not doing that quest now. We'll do it maybe later. Uh, to doing those, those quests are boring. We're interested in this uh, whole detective plot line and what's going on with the these other people. Much more interesting. Okay. <clears throat> it's like, it was the same thing with you. <laughs> what was the same boring thing with you? Here we are again. Uh, the door won't open. Gotta buzz him. Here we go. Hey, we're upstairs. Thanks. So now that they know what they so know, you're gonna about be an mayor, asshole. You're gonna be well, treated like an asshole. You're gonna be shown the door. Plot line. Because I thought the detective would lead to that, but it didn't at all. It was a completely different quest. So we'll just continue with the mayor's murder plotline. I hope so, because I thought that was pretty interesting, actually. <clears throat> Battle Duck says that would have that's the last uh line of missions with Pan Am if I do them. Okay. It's All right. good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meeting here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, hmm. we're talking um, about the cornerstone of my platform. Exactly. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Court... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can <laughs> fuck me in the ass! Uh... <laughs> Look, I gotta go. It's a business Ricky call. amendments will powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Okay, where do I sit? Right here. All right, what's going on? We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind. A break-in? So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? <laughs> no idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Hmm. Why me of all people? <clears throat> Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? 
you unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. <laughs> oh, Baldur says, sounds like a, a call related to Twitch or YouTube content. Yeah, it's like, Twitch or YouTube are fucking me in the ass again. I'm not going to suck their dick anymore, man. <laughs> we shouldn't delay too long. Oh, shut up. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around <clears throat> this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray Eddie. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private His security. eyes are fucked up. You see it under his eyes? It's all very dark bags. That's, uh, means some problems. Maybe he's not sleeping? Uh, I want to watch anything some faggot. When did you and come from some intruder? Homo. Yes, it's Ivan and Dennis. Let's say anything right. missing. Intruder, take anything. Uh, I want to watch some or faggot. And insult some Nothing homo. Missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Hmm. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Unless he fucked with Jeff. Injected him with some. Who knows? In this universe, who knows, right? Injected a fucking microchip in him or some shit. I didn't jump back. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? No. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Hmm. Describe the intruder. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Yeah. Was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes what? its toll. You said you fired a gun. You slept through the gun. This story is bullshit. The whole story is bullshit. When you asked him when you come to, he rubbed his face. He's full of it. They made this up. It sounds to me like they murdered someone, Shall we? and they they concocted this story to to cover it up. And they're hiring you to see if you can actually find out what really happened to see if they've covered their tracks well enough. That's what I feel. Like the first the first mission was a test. Like maybe they knew the mayor had been murdered. And so they wanted to see if I could figure out if I was a good detective and I could figure out how the mayor was murdered. And now they're using me? this as the, as the second line of, of, you know, to cover their tracks or something. That's what I'm thinking. The whole thing's fake. Security looking at this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. <laughs> Convenient answer. <clears throat> Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? It might be, right? We don't know yet. Well, that or <laughs> someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. <laughs> and the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. <clears throat> I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else I should know? Anything else yeah. you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? <clears throat> it seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure Veal turns something up. So, you got all you need for now? Did I hate my job? So, we're gonna look around for clues. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Okay. Come on. Let me show you around. All right, um, Stop this. scan around as we walk around here, right? Double doors. Shout out to Critical Red Retreat again. He says, I didn't watch your pre-stream today. Last I checked, I thought you said Shall you were going to put uh, Cyberpunk on hiatus. What's going on with that? Well, I didn't get a refund from Sony. My plan was to get a refund from Sony, put the playthrough on hiatus, 
wait a month or two, see if actually CD Projekt Red lived up to their promises of fixing the game, and or lived up to their promise of delivering an actual PS5 version of the game. And depending on what happened, I was going to eventually rebuy the game when it was ready and continue the playthrough. I was just going to put my file in the cloud save, or my, my save into the cloud and re-download it or whatever when I needed it. Um, Sony has ignored my request for a refund. I asked twice. They haven't responded at all. So I don't think they're going to give me one. Now, I don't know if there's qualifying criteria to get the refund. They never said that. When I actually re requested the refund twice, it literally just said, okay, log in. So I did. Log in with my PlayStation Network info. Long. And then that was it. It's just a click here, click there, done. So I'm like... I don't get it. Like, why did not? Why does everyone else get a refund and I don't? They would never. They never said, "Oh, if you play a certain amount of hours, you can't get a refund," or "If you're a streamer, you can't get a refund." They never said that. So, I don't know what happened. I guess we'll see. I'm going to continue to play as if nothing ever happened. If I eventually get a refund and they take the license away, fine, I guess. But right now, that hasn't happened. So, okay. <clears throat> Uh, I guess we could tell her to lead the way, but then, you know, I could just go back and search anyway, so... Right we behind shouldn't delay. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. Okay. We haven't been into this back area yet. What a balcony. Holy shit, what a view. You see all a nice city. Sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp... Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Hmm. Insta Roots, do you think it might be because you asked for a refund and then continued to play? I don't think so. How would they even know that? Right? How would they, you know, unless they're checking play data or something? I don't think so. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. Huh. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Yeah. For delivery food? Takeout. All takeout food. Family Who's stills. Fam? That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Huh. Her studies took her abroad. Huh. Where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. She's in the next room, the door I know closed. It's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break in. Wanna make a bet? His commercial. A new campaign ad? I hate this commercial. A gun shooting a stack of legislation doesn't get cruder than this. He hates the commercial. You're right before my employees. You intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. <clears throat> I understand your concern, but I can assure you it's best to leave the matter to the police. Key aspects of the program. Your chief advisor, I feel obligated to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the core... You'd be depriving the campaign of sources of potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by more powerful actors. It sounds like you pissed off absolutely everybody, right? Jeff, can you explain to me why Leia's still here? I thought we would let her go. Did something change? I don't follow. What are you talking about? She's just here. Like, nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today. Apparently, you approved. Am I going crazy? The Ziggy Piggy's back! What the hell are you on about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you got something against her, speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leia stays. Like she was going anywhere to begin with, put yourself together. I must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. What? So one day, it sounds like he fired someone. And then the next day, he didn't remember he fired them. And this is odd. Or he didn't, and his co-worker is imagining things? Okay, I wonder if that's significant. What? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> pizza. Disgusting old pizza. Campaign uh, flyers. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign. <laughs> it's cheaper that way. Hmm. 
Anything else in here? A surveillance camera. But they claim that they couldn't find anything in it, right? Okay. <laughs> His office. Diplomas. What did they say? Law department? There you go. Even Jefferson. It's come a long way. Get from Haywood all the way here? Asukaga Law School. No easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. I don't know what these noises are outside. Fucking explosions and shit off in the distance. <laughs> I don't know what's going on out there. Dad's campaign? Oh, it's a, a note from their daughter. Appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break. I think it's best you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gonk. To private matter? Here is Alvarez. Oh, wait a minute. Judy Alvarez? Isn't she Judy? That's the girl who first introduced us to the brain dance. Today's been right incredibly slow. Jeff, this is a sensitive matter for which we can really use your skills. Full disclosure, I'm coping... You'll return the favor for Jeff once, like you did for the mocks. Can we count on you? I'm not sure I, if I can right now. Can I ask what it's about? A certain brain dance. I'll be honest. The matters of a highly delicate nature and discretion, as much as professional analysis, is paramount for us. You'll be well compensated. Believe me, I would if I could. My hands are tied at the moment. I know s someone you can call. V. So that's how they found out. They talked to Judy, and Judy led them on to you. I see. Liz, sorry to bother you. Did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leia Patel? One day we're in agreement, she has to go. The next day when I bring up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, you agree, what you agreed on just slipped his mind, plain and simple. Stress, any case, certain circumstances changed in favor of Leia remaining where she is. This is very odd. Excuse Jeff, and let's put the matter behind us. Understood. All right. Something weird is going on with her. I think she's fucking with Jeff's head. Right? Like, he wanted to fire her. All of a sudden, she did something, made him forget all about now. it. And now she's not fired. You see? I think she is is fucking around with Jeff's head and making him say and do shit that he does, he's not aware of. And making him... Ch like, she's changing his mind on stuff. Maybe she's in charge of everything. Maybe she's in charge of the campaign, right? Maybe she's doing everything, actually pulling the strings. And we're just not, you know, Jeff's not even aware of what's really going on. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. I mean, in this universe, it certainly seems feasible, right? It seems feasible that she'd have a way to, like, control him. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Oh. Yeah. See that? Chemical residue and blood. So, it re there really was a fight in here. There really was something that happened, and there's blood stains, but they've been partially cleaned. Look at this. What's that? Follow the blood trail. Yup. What's that? Bullet holes. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Huh. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. See... By the way, shout out to Rock and Brock who just t t uh, did a 95-bit cheers that I see you. Thank you, Rock and Brock. So, definitely something happened. They're right. There was a shootout here. He shot at someone. But someone tried to cover it up by repairing all the damage. The fuck? That's a big-ass TV. If that is a TV. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses. This is where we sleep. <laughs> blue roses. What? You sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses. I forgot. What? 
Dude, something's wrong with both of their memories. Something's wrong with both of them. How does she forget? Notice anything different in here after the break-in? Huh. No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Hmm. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. So... It's weird. Their memories don't line up with what they even think. Like, they, she thought they had blue roses. They had red during their wedding, right? This is very weird. I'm gonna steal this. Steal their shit. I'm <laughs> very confused. All right. I keep looking around. So we've got this evidence of the f of the the gunfight, the bullet holes, the blood. More blood in here that was cleaned up, right? Right there. Oh, here's more. We're soulmates. That is down there. Ah, here's even more. The trail goes over here. Scan to find where the trail of blood leads. What the hell is this? What? So this is the security room. I see. Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list. Oh, she's base. glitched. So they were aware there was a secret room spying on them. Spy Take a look. Privacy. Yeah. Sons of bitches. Under my own roof. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. Huh. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? Damn, they didn't so know any didn't about notice. this. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Huh. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. Oh, my head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. They re they're completely fucked over. This security force... Is not only spying on them, we're controlling every aspect of their lives, it sounds like, right? Five messages. Report. Operation Condon. What are the entry numbers? I want to make sure I'm reading them in order. Okay, this is in order. Typical behavior of the target exceeds acceptable variation range. Alpha started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent events. Amplification of neural dampening authorized. Despite objections from the chief of security, Wallace, Target Alpha has contracted the services of a local mercenary that qualifies an extreme deviation from acceptable behavioral norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Request to pursue Operation Condon Target Alpha has been approved. A joint uh. is conducted with Team Orange. Mercenary contracted by Alpha appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. An extreme behavioral deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field Agent Blue was severely injured by Target Alpha and evacuated by Teams Orange and Black. Operation Suspension Protocol has been in initiated. Only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed and would not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. They are 100% being controlled by the security team. Holy shit. Used mess. <clears throat> Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? <laughs> more and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> more shit. Uh. So they're spying on them in all their rooms. It says scan the strange computer. I did though. What are you talking about? I'm. I, it's scanned. 
What do they mean? Oh, this! Unknown tech? Weird hardware. What's it for? Huh. Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Follow the cables. What is this? It's like a a crawl space that goes to the ceiling. What the hell? A dish. Odd. Text practically prehistoric. It doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Huh. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight. Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Find the transmission source. So there'd be a transmission somewhere out there in the city? They said line of sight. See that? Right there. Got it. What, what do I do? Yep. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Alright, wow. We have uncovered a crazy conspiracy mystery. This is a cool mission. This mission is pretty entertaining, for sure. I so love I'm definitely Hogan's enjoying it. Let's dick. actually save, and what I gotta do is actually time for a break. And we'll continue this mission when I get back. This is actually one of the better things in the game right now. I'm enjoying this because it's like a cool mystery. Who's Who is it? controlling these politicians, right? And and what is their intention? All right, we're going to find out. Good stuff. All right, cool. All right, guys, so thank you very much. My last shot, fly, golden arrow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Save me now. I don't have money to do it. 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 I don't have money to do it.
damage from the things that tend to hurt us. All the whispers that will haunt you. to say that we fit lovingly in harmony and I worry oh, it's you and me and that's a beat together for eternity but we broke and it's too late to say I'm sorry for the red light that stopped me
I love Hulk Hogan's dick.
But then I have to end around like, you know, 3.30, 3.35-ish so I can go downstairs and cook before she goes to work. Okay, guys? Just so you know, just saying, telling you up front so there's no surprises later or anything like that. All right? Um, so during the break, I received a $21 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you to One Minute Man for a $21 tip. That jumps us up to uh, 70 Wait, $21. I can't add. $72 of tips today, guys. $72. Thank you for the support. Uh, one more hour on the stream. We're going to see how this side quest pans out. And uh, hopefully it's interesting. If you'd like to see a vest on the stream, please. Uh, we need to hit the $100 tips goal. All vests are eligible except for platinum and a red. We, I wore those yesterday. Okay, guys? Um, now, later tonight, usual time, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, it's going to be a late night stream of Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. The Season 1 maps are in effect. I'm trying to learn them. They're actually a little tricky, especially that mall map. It's pretty tricky. But the connections aren't so good. They're doing a free weekend where everyone can play the game. Why are, are you an idiot if you don't agree? Exactly. If you don't agree because so, when you have factual evidence I of something we'll see constantly thrown in front of your face you. and you ignore all it right. just to believe something else, you're seeing it. But, all right, guys. It's now time to resume with this interesting quest line. Let's see what's going on here. All right, ready? All right, so we now know that this politician couple are under mind control. Wow, what a war on! Maybe you shouldn't have just stood still. Their security Pay attention, company. dumbass. And we know they're being spied on. But what's going to happen is the question. Now well, we found all this out. Is there any rooms we didn't go in? No, this is their bathroom, right? I think we went in all the rooms. I feel like we, we saw all the rooms. There was no other hidden room or anything. <clears throat> okay. All right, anything over here? Storage room. Oh, look at this. Damn, they're so rich, they have a freaking room full of insanely rare and high-priced liquor, as well as a wine. It's basically their liquor room. Damn. Well, when you're that rich, I guess you can have a whole room for it, right? Okay. <laughs> mm. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Yeah. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. Here we go, the transmitter. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. Oh my god. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. It's fucking ridiculous, right? Alright, yeah, I don't see any other possibility. I don't really see any other possibility. It's gotta be them. We still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll yeah, call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. 
Well, here's the thing. It could be both of them, or it could be she's the one doing this, and she's responsible for it. Because, isn't it, we still have the emails that said that he was going to fire that woman, and then all of a sudden he, like, totally forgot about it, right? And then didn't fire them. So I almost get the feeling. And then remember, she covered up. She covered up for it in a different, completely separate email. She covered up and said, oh, don't worry about it or whatever. So I almost feel like maybe she has something to do with it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do kind of get that feeling that she's involved and maybe she actually is the one controlling him. Maybe she hired, maybe she hired the company to, to control her husband, right? Because he's becoming this powerful politician. Maybe she pulls the strings. Maybe she's the reason he's a politician to begin with. Maybe she controls his mind with some kind of technology, right? Like who knows? In this, in this world, it's so, so weird. And, you know, who knows what rules they made. Uh, how, how deep does the rabbit hole go here? So she very well could be in control. Maybe that's why she doesn't want you to call her husband and tell him what's going on. Because she now has to cover her tracks or something, right? <clears throat> I guess we'll see. <laughs> We're going to find out who would want to be spying on and controlling the minds of these politicians. The Russians! Of course, it's the fucking Russians! It's always the goddamn Russians. What the hell? Ha ha ha, what? I think Johnny was appearing to say something, but because I was running, he just never actually existed. He said one word, and then it went away. <laughs> okay, then. <clears throat> I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't okay, have money then. to do it. I don't have money 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 to do it. Have a hand of, uh, of delicious uh, great nuts. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. <laughs> have a gallon of Wendy's chili. What was what was Johnny gonna say? Now I'm intrigued, and we don't, we're never gonna know. It's the truth. We're never gonna find out. The game screwed up. That van is right over there. If you're not aware, they do actually sell a gallon of Wendy's chili. It's a new product they offer there now. It's fucking disgusting. It's like $13. Signal source. There it is. Keep out, huh? See how well I listen to that shit. Right? Jam packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info. Or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. Mm. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Ear jacking. <laughs> huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on paralysis. Whoever it is, our intruder could be in there. Right. I think it's time I went set low. All right. Funai Hideo? The fuck? Christian Simpson. Definitely not your ordinary fan. They're running away. We're about to find out. Alright. I gotta summon my bike and follow him. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here. I can't v. get on the bike. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who <laughs> the fuck knows what. All right, here we go. Target is not escaping. They're straight ahead, I can see them. Good, it went away. Okay, good. <laughs> so I like how now Johnny's invested in this because it could be Corpos and he hates Corpos. He's such an anti-Corpo guy terrorist, you know? He's like, oh, Corpos are gone. Oh, I follow those fuckers. 
By the way, the frame rate is not a smooth 60 right now. I wish it was. It's definitely a variable frame rate right now as I drive to the city. Likely because this is a scripted uh, mission. And so because of that, then maybe there's scripted things happening, like scripted traffic and stuff. It's not randomly generated. The randomly generated driving is 60 frames. This is lower. I'd say it's probably about 45, 50. But it definitely is jumping up and down. Now it's lower again. Yeah. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Right in the middle of an action sequence like this? Is it... Come on. Right in the middle of an action sequence. Really? <laughs> Likely I'm going to have to do that whole thing over. That whole segment. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. This game. It's got problems. Immersion ruined is right. Never happened to you on your Xbox Series X? Really? That's happened to me tons of times during this playthrough so far. Like, that's not even... Sh it's not shocking or anything that it happened. It's just annoying it happened during an action sequence. <laughs> Alright, did save my settings, so hopefully that'll, that won't ever revert again. I hope. Hey, <laughs> hey everyone. Welcome to Info Flash. Right. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Yeah, when the lights went out... Yeah, don't lose him, Vin! And the game just closes. <laughs> But it's funny, I was mentioning, gee, I'm driving in the city, it's not a smooth 60, and what it is, is the memory, the memory's being overused. So, Definitely the, the RAM got completely ordinary. clogged up, is what happened. We're about to find out. Let's shoot the, let's call the Delamain cap this time. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Where is he? Don't the lose him, V. What? Oh, now you're interested. The cab, dude, the cab fucking showed up in the wrong direction. You saw that, right? Here, v, I'm telling you. They could be Corpo spies uh, or who the fuck knows what. What the fuck? I can't do it. The car doesn't show up. Yeah, I gotta redo it. There's no way I'm gonna catch it. It took so long for the fucking vehicle. The, the, the Delamain cab is the other, like, two streets back. Well, look. Now it fucked up. <sighs> Stupid game. <laughs> I gotta do it again. I don't want to lose him. That's stupid. That is really dumb. Oh my god. I definitely... That annoys me because sometimes the vehicle will show up right in front of you. Oh, cool. And then sometimes it's like... A block away. Like, why? Definitely not your ordinary fan. We're about to find out. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be Corpo's spies, or who the fuck I can't turn the want. bike! Yo, the bike won't drive right! Are you kidding me? I seriously can't turn this bike. It won't turn right. What the fuck? Are you a functional I've driven this bike a million times before. I've never had problems with the cornering until right now. Oh my god! Fuck you, dude! It's not my fault the fucking bike won't drive properly! God damn, this game sucks. Jesus Christ, it won't uh, turn! <laughs> Oh my god. Dog duty. Definitely not your ordinary fan. We're about to find out. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Get on the bike. 
Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if the game doesn't fucking crash. Right now it is a smooth 60 frames. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it is smooth 60 right now. Much different than when it crashed. By the way, no people. Oh, you want to know why? Here's why. There's no people. When I was driving and the frame rate was dipping, there were people in the streets. Now there's like no people generating, or very few. Oh, oh, it's dipping. It's dipping tons right now. Not good. Because that means the RAM is being over exceeded, basically. The game's gonna fucking crash. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks a lot, asshole. What the fuck is going on? Look at this stupid shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I can't control the bike again. This is so dumb. I like how I hit that. I like that I hit that person and my bike launched into the sky. <laughs> I hit a. I hit a pedestrian. Oh, your bike now launches twenty feet into the air. What? Great physics. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Oh my God. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, straight pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blush, rig elections. North side. It's getting in more junk. North side. They go! What the fuck? They disappeared! What the fuck? All units report. Opening fire. Yourself. Smart shotgun. Where's it come from? They weren't there. They, they spawned out of nowhere. What the fuck is with this game? Spawned out of nowhere at all. Great. I'm playing a woodwind instrument on Japanese. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck? I'm getting shot from behind.
Coming from all directions now. Fucking weird having a shotgun that holds in. These guys completely glitched. You mean when I punch you in the face? Yeah, I hurt you. <laughs> Annihilation is level six. Anyone left? I think I killed them all. So who were these guys? My laugh sounds like ack ack. Who the ack. fuck were these laugh, guys? <laughs> Maelstrom? <laughs> or... <laughs> they were members of like Maelstrom. Ack 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 ack. No, he sounds nothing like that at all. Huh? <laughs> Enemies are bullet sponges. Exactly right. I mean, again, this game plays like Borderlands, except there's some variations in the guns and shit. But it, the, the, the gunplay is Borderlands. It's you run around, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, a bunch of numbers fly out of the fucking enemy. It's really dumb. First aid. What do we got here? I'm trying to interact with this. Jack in. Okay. Uh, E9, 1C. E9, 1C. I'm stuck. Nothing, it's just the internet access, no data. No data at all. So this was their base. Until I fucking killed them all. It's weird because the waypoints tell me to go different places. It's not clear what I'm supposed to do. I think it's ground level. I think I have to do something down on ground level. But I wanted to grab all the loot because I was already through here. You see, the looting system is definitely like Borderlands, but sadly, there's no loot all option. There's a million pieces of loot on the ground, and you have to manually mash the button like an idiot to get all the loot. It's like so primitive. Why the hell didn't it have a loot all button like Borderlands? If you're gonna have a game that plays like Borderlands, then have the fucking systems from Borderlands too. Go ahead, just copy the whole thing, right? <clears throat> BD, 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 1C. <laughs> beady, 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 one C. All right. Um, hold on. I thought I saw some loot. Yeah, there you go. Got the loot. <laughs> oh, let's see here. So, um, Shui seven zero one. Cheers today. Probably made the scene artificially hard. No, I don't believe that they made anything hard. Uh, artificially hard. The She Wolf X gifted us up to Sage Fox Socks. Congratulations, Sage Fox Socks. Thank you, She Wolf, for the channel support. And on Ninstar Runchi, you said, what do you, say what you want, at least the Quiet Man was functional. <laughs> wow. We're really going to make those comparisons, huh? This smart shotgun actually worked pretty well. It was pretty ridiculous that you have a fucking things called a smart shotgun that homes in, but... It was pretty effective. <clears throat> now, what am I supposed to be doing? Connect to the access point. I need the, that money. The I really do. I need that money. Over here. Pay my bills. Corner. Okay. The van has an access point? Oh. What, what okay. do I do? Pierce did. We're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Hmm. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. 
They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. That's what we thought. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm -hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? Planting new memories in their heads. Modifying their personalities. Damn. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Huh. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who... Oh, Jesus, Johnny! <laughs> you stood right next to me. Scare me. Call Elizabeth. Tell her what the fuck's going on. That is not Elizabeth. That's a stim. Oops. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. Get out of here. So, it's way bigger than we thought. <laughs> what is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Uh, right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. <laughs> sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Okay. Well, we leveled up doing that. Cool. <clears throat> One attribute point, two perk points for that level. All right, we're going to the ramen shop. Where is the ramen shop? How far away? Oh, God. That's really far. Really far, but there's no landmark. I guess we'll go to this landmark here. And then we'll fast travel over there. Okay. Someone actually made an interesting point in the stream chat. Something that I did not put two and two together until this very moment when they said it. They said, this game is like trying to make a Western version of Ghost in the Shell, but it fails. It's nowhere near as good. And you are dead on. That is actually the best analogy and description I can put for this game. They're, they tried to copy all the lore and shit from Ghost in the Shell. You're absolutely right. Because I was wondering where I heard these themes before and everything. And I'm remembering that when I used to watch Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, a lot of these topics or, or ideas were discussed in that series. You are absolutely right. <clears throat> Of course, I don't know who said that because I missed their name. <laughs> but whoever said that, you hit it dead on the head. That's absolutely correct. In my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Well, Kako has another mission for me. Oh, boy. Someone please oh, shut gosh. up this dude. Really you really a moron? There's the ramen shop. We haven't actually been... In Japantown during the day. I think we were only here once and it was late at night. I want some ramens. Give me the ramens. Hey. Stop. Will you sit? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Unusual place for a meeting. Cozy little <laughs> joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one on one. Here we are, then. What is it? I. I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Uh, Captain DCW resold for 18 months in a row, 38 total. He said 38 months strong. Thank you for the ongoing support, Captain DCW. Just a reminder, everyone, I can only stream for about another 30 minutes today. And any so we got 30 more time. minutes to finish this and whatever else we can do. But FYI, only 30 minutes left, just in case anyone was looking to hit the tips goal or whatever today. Let, you know, basically your last chance, okay? All right. I mean, something did happen. It's none of anyone's business. Though, not recently. Okay. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Okay. JNF says this... I need here, though, that money. I really do. I need that money. It actually bills. takes place before Ghost in the Shell. This video game is using it as an actual source material. Gotcha. V? Relax. No need Are to rush. Are you still with me? <laughs> <sighs> 
Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. I didn't know that. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. They changed him completely as a person. Huh. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. Jeez. Look at them. That's Look when I at them. thinking something bad Come was on. Happening. You gotta Something be kidding. Insidious. And not just with Jeff. Yeah, changes in yourself. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's <clears throat> at times like those you start to question reality. So you knew what I was going to find. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Ah, uh, they brainwashed it out of them. I find that terrifying. Okay. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I wow, what a moron! You should have just stood still, paid attention, he dumbass. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear <laughs> to God. My God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Yeah, that's pretty fucked when you don't know what's real and what's fake. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Uh, I got nothing out of it. Let me guess. <laughs> Cams didn't pick anything up. <laughs> the guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. Right. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then the next day, the I got a call. Uh huh. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice. You're gonna be on the other end. He never introduced himself. Huh. They threaten you? They threaten you. Try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. Why are you an idiot if you don't because agree? If you don't agree, because when you have well, factual so evidence of something be. constantly thrown in front Jefferson of your face and you ignore it and choose to believe something else, you're an idiot. Ever. His life depends on it. You're lying the whole time. Can you just say what you've been programmed to say? I think Joe will pick a fight. He can't win. You really want to keep living a lie. What about that? What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and, and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know <laughs> what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'd destroy him. You really want to keep living a lie? Jefferson ought to know. Damn it, Elizabeth. <laughs> gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Oh, wow, we're gonna have a choice here? What if I'm just not on board? And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Really prepared to fire SSI? Truly prepared to fire SSI. After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. 
But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Nah, that's bullshit. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Hmm. Goodbye, V. Yeah, I don't know. We're probably gonna have a choice in this meeting. Oh, thanks. Can you tell him or not. Up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Huh. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. The. Remind you of anything? Yeah. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. It could be related technology, actually. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Huh. He's gone. Alright, so now we just gotta get the final leg. Me with Jefferson. Here it is. Damn. Do we tell him or do we not? I mean, my gut is telling me to tell him. Because if you don't, he's gonna... And you're, just like we said, he could be a puppet. A puppet of whoever the fuck this is doing this. And I'd rather have him know than not know. Right? I say we gotta tell him. I said we gotta tell him. I'm gonna save the game, by the way. Servant of Eve Cheer, he says, I'm confused about the story. Can you clarify it? But the story is that these are these two people who, the guy's a politician, up and coming politician. He's running for mayor. And we had already done a mission for them. Um, and then all of a sudden, they called us again and said they needed help. And they felt that they had been an intruder into their apartment. And that, that, that he, Jefferson, who's that, the guy running for mayor, had shot this guy, but there's no confirmation anywhere. They have security forces that say there's nothing on the, on the, the feed. And they're like, how could, what the fuck? I didn't mean to do that. Like, how could that be? How could you have all this recollection of an intruder and shooting the intruder, yet it doesn't exist, right? So, you come to find out, yeah, they had people spying on them the whole time, and people fucking with their brains. Like, this is really messed up stuff. <clears throat> By the way, this is the first time in the entire game I realized there's a line on the ground that you follow. I never saw that before. I seriously never did. I just saw the... Wait, River's calling us. B, how you been? Been all right. I was thinking, okay, drop by for dinner, maybe. Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. All right, yeah. How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's, then. I wonder if that'll Sounds be like an epilogue pretty. mission to the stuff I did for him, or if there's another mission that's going to open up as a result of that. Cool. I, I will tell you this. In the entire game, today is my favorite session. Seriously. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. Oh, shit. You can't change anything. Oh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. Oh, shit. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Damn. They're threatening you now. Fuck. Yeah. Who is this? Who the fuck is this doing this? Now I really want to find out what's going on, obviously. Alright. Omega Wogan did a bit cheer and said, Hashtag truth for Jeff. <laughs> truth for Jeff. We need the truth. All right, I'm going to save. And then we got to make a decision, right? But anyway, this has seriously been the best section. We had an investigation leading to saving people's lives who were kidnapped. We're going to go into the mind of a nutcase with the, with the brain dances and trying to figure out what was going on. And now we got this conspiracy plot line. This has been just fun. Hello, v. Oh, man. Here we go. I need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. 
Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Hmm. Elizabeth. What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Yeah, she lied. I guess you got more, though. Yep. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Don't Meaning? You're a virtuous politician. Doesn't that make you wonder? Isn't it weird that you're a virtuous politician candidate? <sighs> Flattered, but no. Far from it. Do I try my best? What's this got to do with anything? How many people can honestly say they don't strike deals with gangs or take Eddie's and corpse? A lot, I'd like to think. They just haven't introduced themselves yet. Almost like this city doesn't deserve someone like you. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me. <laughs> to get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Here we go. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. <sighs> okay. Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. I saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Their memories. Can't even trust those anymore. <laughs> Jesus, I know how he's gonna handle this. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Don't count on it too powerful. Could show themselves inadvertently if you're patient. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. <clears throat> as long as you don't forget all this by morning. Mm. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. <laughs> My God, I have to tell Liz. She already knows everything. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She was protecting you. Yep. She feared for your life daughter's life who could blame her nah no, she's never kept anything from me and she does not scare easily believe me got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut so she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do protected her family I won't let them get away with this hmm anything else I can do is there anything else I can do you've done enough already V all that's left to do is wait. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. <clears throat> I didn't run just to... Uh, huh? I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. <clears throat> then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same the Reddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? <laughs> Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. Hmm, so not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. 
Well, we don't know what's going to happen. Will there be a follow-up mission at some point, right? We'd like to think there will be. There will be a follow-up to know what happens with this, you know? Maybe by the end of the game. Maybe when the, maybe if the plot advances more later on, you'll get more information about it. Because certainly I don't want it to end like that. Like, now you don't know what happens, right? It's open-ended. I really hope that there is more information later on in the game about that. Um, well... Here we are. Um, I kind of want to up my intelligence. and I think, all right. Everyone's been saying I need to focus in on... on what what do I do? I think I'm going to do body and intelligence. I forget everything else. Forget reflexes, technical, cool. I'm just going to do body and intelligence. That's what I think I'm going to focus on for the rest of the game. So I'm going to up intelligence for now. All right. It says you can get 20 is the max. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the game. Um, Say goodbye. <sighs> Where do I want to put the points? Critical chance up. Damage all damage to torsos increased by ten percent. Let's do that. Fuck, we'll do it again. There. Cause when I'm shooting with the fucking homing shotgun, it's just gonna hit the torso. It's not gonna hit anything else, right? All right, there we go. All right, um, well, that was interesting. I certainly hope that that actually continues. Following the river. The Peter Pan case is done and closed. You never have to see this badge again, right? Fine, I get it. You crawled through shit and fire together. Now you want to keep back and celebrate your victory, but a family dinner? Can't just a decent dive grab a tequila or debt a 10? Smash the bottle over some corp corp punks, corpo punks face? The, the writing of this is terrible. The writing of this is gar... <laughs> I can't even read the paragraph because it's so badly written. Like, I understand they're trying to be, oh, it's in character. You're such a harsh badass. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're a real hard ass, I can tell. When you say you don't want to go to a family dinner with someone who you just solved a, gru a gruesome case with, oh, yeah, why, why have a nice, a nice calm dinner with someone? You just want to drink tequila instead because you're such a hard ass, right? You know what this is? I'll be honest. The writing of that sounds like a nerd trying to write like he's a hard ass. That's exactly what that sounds like. I'm a fucking nerd and this is how a hard ass talks. Oh, me, I just want to have some tequila. I don't want to have a dinner. Like, what? what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> some fucking guy who's never never been had a fight in his life, never had an altercation, and he's trying to write like what a, how a hard ass would sound. You're getting soft, V. <laughs> Anyway, that's really stupid. All right, let's head over here. We're going to... This will be the next mission we do. <clears throat> Ridiculous. Uh, how do I get over there? Keep walking. Here we go. Choppy frame rate again. All right. Conveniently, there's fast travel right outside. So I don't know how long this is going to be, uh, this mission. But I only have 10 minutes left on the stream, roughly. So <laughs> we'll go. I guess we'll go as far as we can. If it's just a dinner as an epilogue to the case, that's great, I guess. But we actually don't know if this is going to be an actual serious mission or what, right? I'm getting a million new, new fucking texts and shit. I'm paying no attention to them. <laughs> Get that off my screen. I don't want to read that. I don't care about the quota. All it was is another car offer, too, by the way. Okay. Yes, I have to end it early today. I am making dinner uh, for my wife. This is, it's her last day of work before her, her hmm. break for Christmas. And I think it was <clears> her. <throat> hmm? What did you just say? Wait for River by the Barrels. Yeah, I'm making dinner tonight, so... I'm making her dinner before she goes to work. I gotta end in 10 minutes. Our right, real quick... Save the game. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Why do I get the feeling this is not just going to be a, a casual dinner? Things is uh, things are not going to go so well. Okay. Randy Bag wants to know: Can I also make him dinner? No. Yo, Chanel Lover, just cheers to later, man. I had fun watching you play Cyberpunk. Hope you're enjoying the game more. 
Today's side content was good. Seriously, and I mean that. Like, oh, look. I know it might seem like you're trying to help, but I'd rather that you just left us alone. Otherwise, things won't end well. Goodbye, V, and please stay away. You've done enough already. You have been blocked. Elizabeth blocked me. That's hilarious. I don't think it matters, though. Oh, look, it's the kids. Hey, how's it going? The hell? She phased into me. <laughs> Freaky. What you making? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. Jambalaya? Stir the meat. Um, soy meat. Okay. Soy meat? No! God damn it, he's a soy boy. Who would have guessed that River is a soy boy? Come on. You know, maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Okay. Is this an ancient ward family secret? <laughs> huh? Onions, paprika, soy. thyme. Soy! He's a soy Just boy. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. <clears throat> but you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jumble. How's, uh, Randy holding up? Yeah, how is he doing? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though. Special delivery! <laughs> Special delivery! <laughs> Mentally, that was some experience. What Harris did to him. Fuck, does this make sound? Might have We're making curry for a Pokemon. We can't have it go and get overcooked here. Come on. Feels like a clean break for him. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. Mm -hmm. Everyone's really like, wow, all the food in this game looks terrible. You're right. All the food, like, looks absolute god-awful fake, right? All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. This just seems way too commonplace of a mission. Like, something's gonna go wrong in here. Right? It seems like any moment something could go wrong. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's it? The That's rice? exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Oh. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. Basmati, nice. And Basmati, it's Basmati. Basmati rice. That's great. I, <laughs> I love really the Basmati rice. Is yummy. He loves music, so. Sorry. I'm trying to just listen about Randy. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Timbal Slice Trees, is it sad? Heavy Rain Thanks had better looking food than so, Cyberpunk? So Heavy much. Rain had the floating eggs, They're remember? Wonderful. Huge floating help. fucking eggs. Mm -hmm. and they never fixed it either. Yes. Talk mm. again soon. Really nice of you to come. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. <laughs> but he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know. How to repay you? If Randy had uh, give me all your money, a thing, Joss. Oh, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> River's in the backyard. <clears throat> Couldn't wait to see you again. All right. Tomatoes in next. Now you can rice. Toss in the rice. Oh, toss it in. The rice that's nice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. What the? F <laughs> you saw that? It's like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and a beer. Or it's so everything in this game is so nice wonky and unstable. Look, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. 
I paid him a visit at the hospital. Uh oh. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, I'm sure you want to hear this. Jeez. Yeah, let's find what out. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's <clears throat> But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs. Oh God, he killed his family. He's like anyone. Batman. And demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? <laughs> no, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just, Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. Hmm. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Hmm. Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. <clears throat> you promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? You join us? Oh, what God. are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Uh-oh. Brian, <laughs> we're playing. Yeah. Big trouble in Haywood. We're going to play Grab pull yourself. the pen on this random grenade we found. What is this? Trouble in Haywood? What the hell? <laughs> it's like a child's toy. <clears throat> well, what do you think? Oh my god. Always wanted to try a game like this. What is this? Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. <laughs> They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in there. They're way. playing police. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Huh. Ooh, I've heard of cops like you. <clears throat> the lone wolf type. <clears throat> That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. Nah. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. <laughs> three times. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> That's great. Fucking back. lethal weapon line. The city needs <clears throat> me. Oh my god, it's a Batman line. These are all lines from movies. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's get to it. Right. All we uh, gotta do is track down El Chabuco el Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. He don't stand a chance. Oh my God. Maybe. Just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. All right. So I'm gonna assume it just auto saved, right? I probably can't manually save. I didn't think so. All right, we're gonna call it quits here. Obviously, it's gonna it auto saved at the beginning of this. Um, we'll resume this next time. I'm out of time for now. But that's cool. This is cool. Like I said, today is the first. Honestly, outside of the the heist, I think that heist mission that we did was quite interesting. But outside of the heist mission. Okay. Quick save. I did a quick save. Can't save right now. Fuckers. Um, outside of the heist mission, which was interesting to me, 
this is like today was fun. We had, you know, investigation into the mind of a crazy dude, figuring out where the hell he was hiding his victims, saving the victims. That was cool. And then this whole investigation of the conspiracy of the politicians being spied on and mind controlled. That was cool. The fun part about that, it's side content. You know, like, those are missions you could have completely and utterly 100% missed. Because how would you know that they were good? Because there's other side missions we've done that were totally pointless. So, again, it goes along with the line of my criticism of this game. Too much quantity, and the quality is there, but it's such a jumble. They didn't sort out the game so you would know what's meaningful and what's not. So you could easily miss out on some of the best content of the game because you don't know what's good. They screwed it up in that regard, in my opinion. They definitely should have sorted it out so you know what's good, what's poor. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, this was a good session. Now, I don't know where this mission's going, but, you know, we'll see next time around. Should I do more side missions? Because they seem to be the best part of the game for me so far. And by the way, I, I will even say this. The side missions took us out of the pretty much immature plot line of the game where, oh, everyone's into fucking modifying their bodies for sexual purposes and stupid shit. I get that, and, you know, that's kind of like such an overbearing fucking theme in this game. Today was a breath of fresh air. None of that, right? None of it. It was just straight-up investigation, mystery what, what kind of stuff. And that really worked, you know? So we'll see next time around. Are, are there more missions like this? Or will we, will we have shit like the Pan Am missions are terrible. They're just, oh, just go kill a bunch of generic people. It's like, wow, that sucks. And then today was completely different. So the game is definitely an interesting mix for sure. Um, so thanks, guys, for supporting the stream today. Those who did, thanks for those who hung out with me. I appreciate that very much. Um, until next time, which is going to be soon. In fact, I'm going to play this for a couple hours tomorrow night. Um, so we'll be able to finish up this quest and see how, how else this stuff ties up. All right, guys? But anyway, um, thanks. Good stream. Best stuff so far in Cyberpunk today. I hope you enjoyed it. Alrighty, everybody. So that's it for the stream. I'm going to upload this gameplay to DSP Gaming right now. Um, and uh, I'll be back later tonight. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer at 6.45 p.m. More of the Season 1 expansion stuff. Uh, tomorrow, Yakuza 7 on the mainstream. And then two more hours of that on the night stream is good. We'll be able to finish up this mission so it's not lingering or anything for the whole week, right? Alright, good stuff. Alright, I hope to see you guys tonight for Call of Duty. If not, I'll see you tomorrow for Yakuza. Alright, peace out, everyone. See you later. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that.
they sleep inside a moment, wake up on a blade. Resist, remain, shaken from the still. Resist, remain, no more time to kill. Break it out through the doors. Is there nothing worth saving? Nothing.